Hello, good morning, and uh, how are you? <laughs> Hope you're well, lads. Here I am on a Sunday morning, and I just forgot to turn on the other thing. So we're on YouTube as well. Ah, brilliant. This is fantastic. So I started off way, way back many, well, two hours ago. I'm at this for two hours, right? And my day has started off with this camera falling over, right? <laughs> right. It fell over. I've now fixed it, and I think we're okay. Uh, then, what else did I do? I've other buttons here, look. Is that working? Yeah, that's working. And you might be saying, Murph, what are these things? These are envelopes that I need to send... Oh, Jesus. These are envelopes that I need to send out to people. So, um, those who want these stuff, I have the envelopes ready, so I'll be posting them out probably tomorrow. Do you know? And, uh, well, apart from that, then, I was doing some flight simulation. I've updated a whole load of stuff. And then yesterday, I saw that uh, Captain uh, Sim... Captain Sim have released AC-130. Now, they did this before. It was the external variant only, uh, and now I see that they've done a something. They've done an odd something. So we're going to check out the odd something now this morning, you see? But technology and I were at odds with each other um, because, well, things are breaking. The bot has just woken up. He had to rattle the cage, do you know? And um, what else do we have? We're going to be checking out Just Flight's PA-30... Jesus, 8? I think it's a, a, a tomahawk. Yes. Tomahawk. And who knows what else? Who knows what else? So I'm live on the Southeast Asian server if you'd like to join in. My lighting got an update, not an upgrade, an update. So I don't know how everything kind of... Do you know what I mean? How does it look and feel, lads? We don't know. Oh, look, that camera's working too. Look at the lightage. The mind the back of the head. Look at the lightage going on here behind me, like. Look. Ooh, and ah. Right, oh, it's very fancy now what's going on. Although that's kind of overexposed. Yeah. Eugenie then. Who's in charge? You know. But welcome in. Um, good evening or good morning, depending on your persuasion. Hope you're all keeping very well. Uh, Colonel Fork is here. Hashtag how are you, Colonel Fork? I was only thinking of you this morning. I got up out of the bed at 25 past four. And I said to myself, Colonel Fork will be on. And he was. BJD, he was there. So I said, right, we better jump in before it's like bedtime for Colonel Fork. Uh, and then MDA rambled in. Who's probably enjoying a nice Sunday afternoon stroke evening. Um... Huge news. So I was out for the drive yesterday because the weather in Ireland is Hello actually... There. Hello there. The weather in Ireland is quite nice. Do you know? Went out for the spin yesterday and we got... Uh, went, went through Banagher, went over the bridge into County Galway, got up near Hortumna, I suppose, and I heard a terrible rattle coming out of the Skoda. Ah, yeah. Anyway, long story short, uh, I pulled into a garage and I said, here, stick it up on the ramp there, will you? And your mum was like, huh? I said, ramp. Come on, let's have you. So as they put it up on the ramp, uh, a bit of steel fell out of the car. <laughs> it fell off the car, you know, and it was part of the coil off the spring on the driver's side front. So I invented some new words uh, to add to the uh, Collins Dictionary. Most of them start with f or sh, right? And uh, I need now a new spring for the right-hand side. Now, I imagine the, uh, the shock is probably fine, but you can't drive the devil in case the shock you know, decides to find an exit point, mainly through the wheel, or worse, out through the engine. So the Skoda is on, um, well, it's it's VOR, vehicle off-road. I like that. Yeah, the Skoda is VOR today. P it confuses people. It's VOR, Jesus, right? V vehicle off-road, lads. So, um, oh, yes. it, they say things come in trees. Caliper, alternator, and now a shock, or, you know, a spring. So we'll have to see what happens. Stupid thing. And I've, I'm taking that to France. <laughs> what? Right. Anyway, the Allies did it. I'll do it. It'll be grand. But anyway, who else is here? Hummer, it's good to see you. Hummer, we're going to be on the Southeast Asian server, my guy. Fierce Wolf, good to see you, man. Uh, who else is here? Hangar Studios. Good night. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Uh, where's my gadget now? It's not working. Uh, Jesus, this is very slow. Sun Jammer, good to see you. The Limbics is in the house. Welcome aboard, my guy. Uh, who else is here? Balut. Hello, Balut. Uh, Rambio, good to see you, man. Happy uh, Sunday. Gaseous Maximus. Welcome in. Uh, Just Snaggy. Thank you very much indeed for the follow. Hope you're well, man. Sean Dale is here. Wrap a paperclip around a pencil. That'll sort it. Yeah, right. Has it just hit the end of the life period? I don't know. But like, uh, cars over here are ridiculous price. Do you know, put it this way, right? I would have to drop 10k plus my car to get the same year with less mileage. Do the maths. 10,000 plus my car to get the same year with less mileage. It's friggin' nuts, right? Ireland's gone crazy. We're, 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 do you know what? Who's in charge? Because we're not. Do you know what I mean? Airman, it's good to see you. 
Um, but yeah, so let's, let's you know, fingers crossed. Uh, new spring. <laughs> you have to have summer first, right? Always look on the bright side. There's a silver lining here somewhere, lads. I don't know what it is. And I, was, I said, right, I'll get a motorbike again. But like, bikes are, well, I'm awkward and stupid. I'll fall off. I can't fall off a car. You'd want to be a special kind of stupid to fall off a car. A bike you can fall off, though. I used to have a bike. I had a hog. Yes. Vroom, vroom. It was a 125cc. But listen, it looked the part, right? I mean, that thing was on like a 600cc body. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, the silver lining is the chrome trim on the Skoda. Th yes, yes. Uh, you don't bounce when you reach 25. Uh, well, listen, it's gr it'll be fine, right? It'll be fixed and all will be well in the realm and we'll be back to driving as it were. And I, I now have to get like a lift into work tomorrow. And uh, I hate that because I'm no good getting a lift. I'm not a good passenger at all under any circumstances. Should I be allowed to be a passenger anywhere? Even on a plane, I'm like, I wouldn't have done it that way. Right, I'm desperate. But anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. If I just like sleep, I'll sleep. That's the handiest way. And that's like, that's like, rule number one. Don't be the passenger who sleeps because like then you're a crap passenger. Do you know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it'll be grand, right? It'll be grand. So as I said, good morning or good evening to everyone. We're going to do a bit of flying here. I want, I'm intrigued by this release. Uh, Captain Sim dropped a C-130, uh, which actually has an interior. Hmm. Uh, and there, there seems to be a bit going on with it. So I want to check it out. Um, couldn't tell you how to start it. Some stuff work, appears to work. Other stuff doesn't appear to work. But uh, we'll ramble over and we'll have an old gawk, you see. I think that there's a wire loose on the microphone because it keeps making weird noises. But sure, anyway, we'll figure all that out together, lads. As I said, I'll do the worrying so you don't have to, right? So, uh, right, make sure everything's appearing. We're on the ground here up in Alder Grove, Echo Golf Alpha Alpha. Uh, and I'm going to do a bit of an owl uh, spin down to... Uh, I'm going to do a spin down to Shannon, right? And uh, just to see what it's all about. But here we are now. Look at the state of this thing, look. Isn't it mad? It's absolutely mad. Uh, Neil Marr, good to see you, Neil. Sleep is underrated, I agree. Uh, sleep is underrated too. We need more sleep. But sure, listen, it's be grand. Who's sleeping these, in this day and age? Do you know? Anyway, uh, this machine. It's about 40 quid. Uh, it's, it's what? 40 euros for this thing. And you're saying to yourself, well, hang on a second. Is this thing going to be anyway good? Straight away, what is weird, they have their own pilots modeled, meaning that you then have like two pilots in the frigging cabin. So that's kind of um, terrifying and alarming. So I better fix that. So if I turn off the old pilots, uh, oh, no, yeah. that's oh, it doesn't show anyone. So there's a couple of bugs here and there, as you would expect. It's Captain Sim, like we're not expecting much. However, um, when they first released the C-130, the exterior model, we were all shocked and begobbed and like, what? Uh, because they only gave us the exterior and we were like, this is just not the way we want. Microsoft Flight Sim to go. Do you know what I mean? MDA, thank you very much indeed. Tier 3 for 16 months. Be the JD. Thank you very much indeed. Um, so we were saying to ourselves, do you know, what's the, what's the deal here? Now, to be fair, their exterior model from the outside would have looked fine. I mean, it did look nice. However, they're back with this. And this includes, yes, the exterior, but also an interior. And there's a few other bits and bobs here, which is kind of nice. They're following on the usual kind of Captain Sim stuff, as in... You know, you can open up the engine cowling, you can open up the ray dome, you can open up the ramp, and they do have a bit of stuff going on. And I have to say, lads, I mean, that looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. There's a nice bit of detail in here. Overall textures, well, it's, again, it's, it is pretty. It only comes with one livery at the moment, but I, I you know, there's going to be a lot for this. Uh, because I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised um, at the overall standard of this aircraft, because it's when when people say Captain Sim, that's kind of like, do you know when you're in a pub and before the barman or like you know the crew come along and say, "Are you right there, folks? Please, it's time to go home." Right? <clears throat> well, if someone if someone says to you Captain Sim, it's like, quick, grab, finish your pint, grab your bags, we're going home now. Otherwise, we're just not going to get a taxi. And um, so usually when you hear Captain Sim, it's time to leave. However, this could be a little bit different. Do you know what I mean? Mr. G, good to see you. Iron Knob Airways, welcome in. So, I don't believe it's an upgrade over the existing one. This is brand new. Brand new. And as you can see, look, there's, there's stuff happening, right? There's stuff happening. From the exterior, it does look the job. Plenty of stuff to open and close. You can even ramble in here and have a look to see what we can see. Uh, now, that leads you on up into the flight deck, so we're not going to go in there just yet. But we can go into the rear uh, of the aircraft, into the cargo hold. And again, it's done pretty well. There's nothing here in terms of like a loading manager. You can't see stuff get loaded. 
And there are some bugs because, um, from what I can see, you can't have this open during flight, which is strange. Do you know what I mean? But um, I think, you know, again, it's no C-160 in terms of what Azure Poly have done, but it's a step in the right direction. You know what I mean? Um, what the deuce? Hayden, good to see you. Captain Sim is a swear word around these parts, right? Do you have to buy the interior in, if you have the plane? No, it's 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 a brand new model, right? So if we kind of go up the, the ladder here, up the steps, look, it has a friggin' flight deck. And it's it's nice. They've modelled it well. Um, and you can see the size of it. A C-130, these are a massive machine. If you've ever seen them, the Herc is a big bus. And, uh, but as we kind of manoeuvre around here, like, look, at there's nice detail. Oregon Aero Inc. made in the USA. Uh, and this is 31130, right? And uh, again, it looks nice. There's nice textures. There's a plethora of dials and animations and buttons and switches. I couldn't tell you what to do. Um, and even the interior textures are done to a very high standard. This looks nice. There's no point saying it doesn't, right? It looks nice. Hey, Zeiss is here as well. Good to see you. Mickey Ozzy, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well. And uh, well, it's flight simming day. The weather is beautiful. You should be outside enjoying the weather. But I went outside yesterday and attempted life and my car broke. So I said, feck it, shag it, and I'm staying indoors. I'm an inside person, right? Do you know, I don't do, well, I do, I, do, I like the sun, <clears throat> but that's about it. So, um, what do you think? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty naff this, isn't it? What do you reckon? Hmm, the sounds, I don't know, the, the sounds are, I don't know how original the sounds are, but they're not bad, right? Oh, where's the airport? Airport diagram of which now? upside down uh jesus international arrival terminal u.s customs does it not say the name in it it probably does it's probably screaming at you murphy and you can't see it. oh it's jfk look yes yes uh, speaking of which that's a great movie did you ever see jfk um but anyway we're gonna find out what works what doesn't work and how the aircraft actually behaves itself and uh well we get to fly with you guys look there's another one over yonder there's another c-130 parked up and uh isn't it mad look at the detail here in the props with the engine like with the sun starting to hit it there now. These things are highly detailed. Check it out, lads. Look. It's very, very nice. So we want to know how does the devil actually fly and... You know what I mean? How does it do this stuff? The sound of a Hercules is approaching our house in is distinct, says Neil. Uh, they're always in and out of Shannon. Yeah, the Herc. Big, loud machine, you know. Props will feather with the condition set, uh, lever set correctly. Really? They even have prop feathering? That's a nice touch. And, uh, but what else do we have here? Look, we have some custom views set up as well. Again, they're all done fairly nice. I mean, you can't, you can't really complain now, in fairness. Like, as I said, you say Captain Sim, like, if this was anyone else, you'd say, yeah, well, it's not bad. Do you know what I mean? It's a little bit pricey, though. I think it's, it's 10 bucks too dear, you know. So, uh, we're going to take it for a flight <clears throat> and see what we can do. So, hello, good morning, and welcome, as I said, everyone here on Twitch and on YouTube. Just remind me now that we're on YouTube. I have to be careful with her music uh, because, well, I'm that guy. So, <clears throat> here we are. And, uh, well, these are our positions, and we're on live time and live weather. Uh, well, I turn on Active Sky for the crack. Sure, we had great fun with that the other day, didn't we? Uh, now, Beluga, good morning. Uh, about to descend into Punta Cana, or Punta Cana, after departing Frankfurt. Am I excited for the PA38? I am. We're going to be showing that one off now in a while as well. Homer says, do you have a link you can buy? You'd have to grab it on the Captain Sim website. Uh, that's where you'll grab it. Somebody pointed out it's on sale at the moment. Oh, that's right, Scythe, actually, yeah. Uh, Mother Trucker, good to see you. Murph, for God's sake, it's a large pixel without clothes. <laughs> it, well, it, it, I don't know. Do you know? It's it's right. Uh, <clears throat> so, in order to get ourselves started up here, well, as I said, how Hello good there. is... Can you guys see what's actually happening, right? Uh, let me see. Junk Diagram, welcome in. Thank you for the follow, dude. Good to see you. So, we've got a whole load of buttons and switches and stuff, and some things just don't work. Uh, pressurization, oxygen, none of that is modelled. However, other stuff is. So, um, well, we'll zoom in here, and hopefully you can kind of see a little bit. I don't know how dark that is. Is this the Captain Sim one? Uh, it is. Kill my skills. It is. Uh, and I said, listen, well, well it, you'll be kind of half surprised with this. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to follow the checklist to see can we start up the aircraft. However, you do have this little paper clip uh, EFB thingamajiggy. And we can even pop out a flag look. And the flag is animated. We need to put up our own flag for that now. I'm just saying. So, right. Let's, uh, let's close all the stuff here, right? So it's only a matter of clicking some buttons. Remove before flight the cowlings. Get rid of all those. The doors. 
just close up everything. The radar. Dome. And see the radar dome at the front? Well, you can actually turn on the radar if you want. Right? Look at this. Shh. So it's almost like it's in air show mode. Do you ever see these as a static display on the ground at an air show? They tend to have all the jazz up and running. So uh, we'll close all these, get rid of the ramp, and uh, we'll leave the pilots as they are. Can you do Jesus. Right. Now, when I click that, where does it go? Or do you just click back on the screen? Oh, look, that's handy. So you can actually get rid of that. That's handy. Uh, what do we have over here? These are interior lights, uh, and these work. These, the oxygen and pressurization, none of that works, unfortunately. Um, but you can open up windows and doors and all this jazz, look. That's pretty. I think it's pretty cool. I'm getting stores. Uh, right, so familiarization with a C-130. Lots of buttons. Engine condition levers. They should be down. Move these fellas down here for a minute. Uh, down onto the center console, what we got here. So we do have autopilot trims, well, gyro pilot, uh, comms channels, and what else? Trims, control valves, couldn't tell you what they are. Uh, ADF. Oh, look, some stuff works. Okay, some stuff works. Uh, we do have engine pumps. Be careful with this now because, as far in a C 130, I flew one of these years ago in the sim. Can't remember who made it. I think Just Flight did one. Um, but if you had the engine pumps running, you'd know hydraulic pressure. So, you know, you'd be in a hoop, you know. Uh, when you're off to Vegas with Alison, I'd be flying out on the 19th of uh, June. It's only around the corner. Uh, Billy, good to see you. You're welcome in. Uh, Riz, hang on now. Riz One Nation. No, wait. I'll get this right, Wiz. It's Riz One Nation. Welcome in. Uh, it's after midnight over here. Why? Who's in charge? Again, the insim checklist will guide well for startup. Okay, good stuff. Um, if Captain Scam is starting to do good products, it'll be chaos. Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. This, this, that's why I said it. We'll have a look at this one, right? So we do have an insim checklist. So let's open up the gadget before starting the engine. So generator switches, right? Up here to the overhead. Generator switches are all in the off position. Confirmed that they're off. Inverter switches also in the off position. External AC power. Um, on if, if available. We'll turn it on. Here's some sounds coming alive. Next up are going to be the bus ties. These are in the... Bus tie is in the tie position. Uh, DC power switch for the battery. Let's go over and have a look. Currently in the off position. On position. Um, the GTC door switch. You're up here. We're going to open that. This is like the APU, yeah? GTC. The bleed switch is in the closed position, yes. The control switch, we're going to flick it to start and then run. So there's one switch. And when we turn this, we should get a green light or an orange light. Okay, so start and run. So once we get a green light to say on speed, it's letting us know that it's moving fast enough and then we're going well. Call me Ritz. Okay, Riz. Uh, Beluga says, does the DC power switch not need to go up to battery? Couldn't tell you. Checklists are just like IKEA instructions. <laughs> So we're going to wait for this. Uh, we should get some sort of a light to say it's spinning up. And there's a little door open there, look. That's the door. APU, right? Okay, we have a little green light now. It says on speed. So we're going to put the GTC air switch uh, to on. ATM switch, if required. Air turbine motor stop. Do we need that? I don't think we need that. ATM generator. Yes, we need you. So we're going to turn this divil on. And yes, we're looking good now. We're looking good. Why read a manual? The better half knows everything. Indeed, Sean. You're well trained at that answer, Sean. Yes, yes. I don't need a manual. I have a wife. Or as uh, old veteran likes to say, I have a spousal unit. I was issued with one in the military. Right? A spousal unit. Brilliant. Uh, right. Beacon light. Ah, this is brilliant. Beacon lights on. Uh, Co-pilot inverter switch needs to go to essential. Now, why is there two switches? Hmm. AC inverter switch essential. Okay, just two switches. So let's go with that. I can see now we're getting uh, information coming up. Engine pump switches. They're down here. We're going to turn these devils on. One, two, three, and four. Park and brake. Ensure that we're set. Uh. That's off. That's on. Uh, parking brake is set. And uh, go ahead and check that. We're good. Right. 
engine startup. So we have condition lever, starter, confirmed, and then generator. All right. So the condition lever. So we're going to start engine one first. Nope, you devil. And the engine starter switch, uh, I think, is upstairs, isn't it? She's over here. Okay, so the plan is we're going to start this, then turn on the generator, and then repeat. How's that for a plan? Are we ready? I hit a switch. Do we have rotation of RPM image? Negative. Engine pump switched. Uh, up is on. You put them down. Engine pump. Oh, good man, Murphy. I said I don't have spinach. What are we forgetting here, lads? Hmm. Hey, it's Hayden is here. Good to see you, man. I do hear a sound, but I suspect that's an aircraft from outside. So why aren't we getting a start? Something's turning it off. Do you know? Do you see that? Uh, let's see here now. We're on the Southeast Asian server, lads, if you want to come fly with us. Engine bleed air to override. Engine bleed air to... Oh, I'll just find that here now. Engine bleed air to override. Now, if I was an engine bleed air switch, where would I live? Bleed air... Engine bleed air override. Did they forget to tell us that in the checklist, Colonel Fork? I think they did. Ah, yes. Starter valve is open. Ah, brilliant! We have spinach. Ah, this is great crack, lads. Yes. Yes. This is brilliant. Ah, this is brilliant. Right, I removed my jacket. It's friggin' roasting in my room. Uh, right, there's a good start in the engine. So what did I say after that? Generators, wasn't it? That looks like a generator up there. Turn the divil on. AC load. Brilliant. It's in the checklist. Is it? Did you, who needs checklists? Uh, right, come back here, checklist. So, engine condition lever, bleed air switch. Oh, look, it was the first thing and I forgot it. It's fine, it's fine. Right, confirm. Generator, and then we repeat. Brilliant. Okay, so repeat the process. Well, I put them all on, so we're just going to start engine two. Press and hold. Start a valve open. Spin edge has been confirmed. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Don't forget, lads, if you're here on the tube of view, do be sure to hit that little button that comes up on the screen. It helps out the stream, and you know what it does, actually? It recommends the live stream to even more people, waking them up out of their Sunday morning slumber. Brilliant, right? Brilliant. Uh, right, now, uh, do we get a start in the second? We do. We do. Oh, wait, I never turned on the gadget. Ah, Murphy. Now it's working, right? I've always said I'd have been a very good C-130 pilot. Do you know? Uh, is this aircraft any good? So far, it's good, Maff. It's good. Uh, Thub says, do you need to change the bed sheets? What's going on in this absurd hour? Listen, right, I get up early on the weekends. I get up very early on a Sunday. I'm gonna do all my stuff. Sunday mornings, this is I, I, this is where I do this thing. I'm very busy Monday to Friday with me Monday to Friday job, uh, but this stuff I do on a Sunday. Uh, right, generator two, let's be having you. Hup you divil. Ah, this is brilliant. Engine three, press and hold. We have rotation. RPM is rising. We should have rotation. Come on, you divil, you can do it. There she goes. Beautiful. Alright. It's very dark in here. Turn up your light now. Dish. There you're talking now, lads. She's all coming alive now, huh? Have we more switches? Oh, we do. What's over this side of the house? Oh, we've windscreen wipers and everything. Ah, brilliant. Ah, that's class. Uh, do the wipers work? 
Oh, the wipers work. Brilliant. Uh, what was it doing? Oh yeah, I was starting engine three. Engine three is now up and running. Yes. Uh, three generator on. Although she's not getting any load. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, right, last but not least, engine four, let's be having you. You're up early for Ireland. We absolutely are. Tub says, I can't believe I'm saying this. Well, this cockpit looks amazing. It does actually, doesn't it? Look at the state of it. It's done very, very nicely. But yeah, right, don't tell anyone. This is like the confessional box. I've got a terrible secret. <laughs> How long is it since you were last? I couldn't tell you. Do you know? All engines running. This is brilliant. Right, reset our barrow. Here we go. And can we get number four generator turned on? We can. Okay, back to my checklist. Engines are up. So our bleed air switch now goes to the off position. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, the control switch goes to off. And the door will be closed. I don't know how quickly we can close the door. A lot of these, a lot of aircraft, the uh, APU door, they usually wait. It's about a minute or so. And the only reason is because the thing is still running and you close the door, it gets hot quick. But we'll close it now because, well, you know. Uh, external AC power switch goes to off. It's already off. Oh, look, that went to off automatically, look. See that? Okay. Uh, engine bleed air switches are all set to on. So we have them in override. Up one, up one, up one, and up one. Okay. And that, that looks like it, lads. Uh, checklist complete. Right. I'm in charge from here on in. God almighty. Uh, right, buttons. What do we have, right? Jesus. Come up the yard. Right. So what have we got? Cabin altitude. Can't do anything with that. That's a pity. Air conditioning. Can't do anything with that. Pressurization. None of this panel works. Okay. The gas turbine compressor. It's effectively your APU. That works. Uh, your windshield, that doesn't work, but your heater heaters do. Engine bleeds. On. Engine inlet air duct anti-ice. Well, they all work, look. Okay. Uh, prop and anti-ice master reset. Auto master reset, keep it on auto. Propeller ice controls. Well, that's nice. They work. Although I don't get, um... They're not, they don't seem to be drawing. Oh, they do! Jesus, the panel actually works. They draw electricity, look. That's kind of cool. So there is an automatic setting for that. Over temperature warning. So we can test all this. Yes, that's all okay. Anti-icing for your wing, on or off. Uh, stab. Oh, these are your leading edge anti-ice, look. Anti-icing. So it's it says in up. Okay. Uh, move down the road here now, Murphy. Uh, that's up the road. Uh, external lighting, so we can see emergency exits can't touch, uh, dimmer switch can't touch, exterior lights keep them on steady, they can't go flash, uh, leading edge lights turn them on, formation lights, why not, your bus off indicators don't seem to work, uh, your generators work, and you can see the loads dazzling about, okay, there's no, the tester here doesn't work, generator disconnect, I imagine this lad needs to go off. ATM generator. Leave that off at the moment. Frequency. That's ele your electrical panel. Can't do with that. However, we can see what the battery is doing versus your main uh, bus. So that, that all works. Uh, and then we have all our bus switches down here. Um, battery. Instruments. This all works. This is kind of mad. Right, moving further down, we have fuel systems. Booster pumps. Low pressure. Okay, turn those on so we get rid of the low pressure. Uh, auxiliary tanks. Forward tanks. Fuel quantity is empty, so we don't need to worry about these. Uh, we do have these guys, though. Total fuel. Uh, then we have external tanks. And the aircraft actually has external fuel tanks, look. It has external fuel tanks. Green battery search the vertical also. 717 fan. Good to see you, man. Ollie Bones, welcome in. Uh, so the these ones to vertical, Colonel Fork. Is that what you're telling me? Them fellas. 
Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, Colonel Fork. Uh, yeah, so the fuel systems work, right? Which is brilliant. Uh, so we've no low pressure. Oh, these are low pressure, so we better pr turn these fellas on as well. Okay. Uh, now, what are these? Fire emergency. So we can't seem to be able to do any tests with our fire systems. And warning systems, we can do bugger all here as well. These are our engine ground start switches. They work. Uh, icing conditions, can't do with them. Boosters, can't do with them. And the oil cooler flaps, we can't do with them either. So does a, does a bit, a fair bit working and a fair bit not working. The green one for the battery needs to be vertical as well. The green one for the battery is this fella, vertical. Good man yourself, Colonel Fork. Colonel Fork strikes me as a man who's been flying this aircraft for the last seven hours, right? Mbongi, now, before I tell you, you know, don't, well, be alarmed, be very alarmed. Uh, it was made by that fella, also known as Captain Sim, which is mad, right? Spoiler alert, Jeff, man's <laughs> It's all right, it's mad. Right, uh, the main panel here, and uh, the glare shield is nice, look. There's, you know, nice textures and whatever. Uh, right, the main panel, what can we do with here? Uh, acceleration units. I suppose G, is it? Uh, we can reset that. Uh, airspeed indicator in knots. Chrono. Compass. Radar altitude. Uh, never exceed speed, okay. Uh, let me see. Altimeter. Can we shoot an ILS in this? It's on heading mode. Now, where do we... Heading set. Oh, look, we do. Interesting. Uh, and we can put in a course as well. All right. Uh, beacons, counterman with those. Moving down. Uh, electronic fuel correction. One, two, three, four. Imagine that's just basic. Our engine instruments. So everything's in the green that I can see. We're looking good. Uh, moving further out, we can see our landing gear handle. Exterior lights. So we're going to extend the lights for the motors and turn on our lights. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the lights. The, the, the lights are modelled dropping out of the wing. That's pretty all right, isn't it? What else do we have? Uh, there are the lights. Oh, we better do a control uh, test as well. What's this? Again, navigation options. Uh, auxiliary pump doesn't seem to do anything. Emergency braking pressure. So if I'm jabbing at the brakes, are we going to see any sort of hydraulic pressure? No. Not that I can see. Hydraulic pressure's in the green, though. Uh, can we disappear the yokes? There's probably a button for the yokes. So if we were to turn off the parking brake... No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Uh, air conditioning doesn't seem to work. And then over on this side, then, let me see. Oxygen red... That doesn't work. Uh, power drop. Open and close. Air deflectors. Oxygen regulator. All right, okay. Uh, you have a ton of circuit breakers back here. Oh, look, that works. They're just lights. Okay. Uh, manifold pressure, that's pretty cool. None of the circuit breakers work, unfortunately. Nothing here works. Um, let's go over to this side. And, jeez, there's some amount, isn't there? Cabin lights. So you do have... You do have a little bit of functionality, um, but not much, right? Not much. Flight deck dome light. I'll bring that down a smidgen. What do you like at night time, lads? Will we make it night time here just for a moment? Shh. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Look at the state of that. Look at the cut of that. Would you believe it, right? The curtain has a click spot. Hang on a second. Shh. The curtain has a click spot. There's the curtain. Oh, it does look. You can open and close the... Ah, that's brilliant. Jesus, can we do that on this station? No. No. And no. Ah, that's a pity. We could do nothing. Oh, wait. We could turn on the light. Oh, yeah, look. You can turn on the light. All right. And up here we can play with now. Here's all the important books. Here's a very fancy scope. Uh, what else do we have? Asher, look, would you be as comfortable now as comfortable can be, look. Sitting there in your bed. Strap him in. He'll be grand. Although that, yeah, you're like, headsy toesies, right? Uh, let me see, dome lights. I'm almost certain we can open up that gadget as well. Or maybe it's this one. Oh, look. Ah, brilliant. 
we can open up that. Pull handle to jettison the crew door. Why would you want to do that? More information up here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, we've more lights here to play with. Uh, Seatbelt, counterbatten there either. All right, okay. It's not bad. Sure it's not. Uh, it's a pity you can't hold a key to show all the click spots. Indeed. Uh, I was in a C-130 when I was in the Air Cadets here in Canada. What a ride. Oh, dude, I imagine that was awesome. Hey, Pfeiffer's here. Good to see you, man. D&H, good to see you. Yeah, Captain Sim made it. The world has gone mad. It's cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Uh, but anyway. It looks very nice. So we're going to... Jesus. We're going to try and taxi out of here. As my DirectX 12 is still causing issues with... Look at the state. Fix the thing. Fix it. Give it a second now. It'll fix it. There we go. It's nearly fixed now. Come on now. Jeez. Oh, Why does it have to do... Now we're fixed. Now we're threshing. So how do we get out of here? Well, we'll go that way, that way. And then... 3-5, I suppose. This would be fairly tight. Let's see what happens, sports fans. So, uh... What about the flaps? We have sounds. <laughs> Very nice. The Alaska Air National Guard, isn't it nuts? Flaps are working. Bring those back up. We'll do a flight controls test. So we're going to go ailerons left, ailerons right. Elevator up, elevator down, rudder left, rudder right. Controls are free, easy and correct. And they look uh, looked fine. So we'll go... Flaps to take off, off the park and brake, bit of power coming in. Now, I don't know what we can do with this radar thing in jiggy, but sure, listen, we'll take our time. Take our time here now. Turn on a bit of Toby Ice so and actually see what I'm doing because this is a fairly big bus we're in. Do you know what I mean? C 130. I'm pleasantly surprised by it, lads. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pleasantly surprised. Only reason why I don't use DX12. Yeah, like, I mean, apart from that, it's brilliant. You know what I mean? This is a big machine, isn't it? Huh? There's some nice textures on this. Oh, Jesus! There we go. Look at this thing. It's class. Right, we'll just enjoy the little taxi out here, shall we? Let's verify we're on live time and weather. I believe we are. Yeah, live, live. A beautiful morning here in Ireland. Uh, the weather should be kind of nice today, lads. So this aircraft, it's available right now if you want to buy it. If a C-130 is your bag, well then, this is your bag. Ah, oh, Captain Sickbag is here. You're up before your breakfast. Good to see you, man. Your breakfast is up before you. I love it. Do you know what would be lovely now for breakfast, lads? And I'm not picky, right? But two poached eggs on a slice of toast. Uh, right. Hey, Six Knots is here. Kieran, how are you, man? Happy Sunday, dude. Is it that time already? Jesus, it is. Right, so we're doing our thing. We're taxing here in a beloved C-130. Colonel Fork, will I spin ahead of you there? So we have a few people flying with us. This is a class. So we're going to head down to Shannon. Look at the state of this. Look at this, lads. Isn't the class looking? Captain Sim has released a new aircraft and it's not half bad. The world has gone nuts. F some Fitzgerald's bagels. Lightly toasted. Bit of honey. Right, we'll go ahead, Colonel Fork. Uh, at least we can say multiplayer. Everything appears to be good, Colonel Fork. Lights are working. 
Hopefully Cheryl doesn't mind. <laughs> Brilliant. I have Fitzgerald's bagels. He's missing them. This is kind of nice. Right, get ourselves lined up. Like, the C-130 is such a cool aircraft. It just is, right? And it's good to see now we have a fairly decent one in the sim. This is actually fairly decent. So far, I haven't taken an airborne yet. So, get ourselves stabilised. Right, hold the brakes. Now, in terms of a transponder, like, can we fly this thing on VATSIM? Gyro pilot. Oh, we do. We have a range and everything. God almighty, there's things happening. Studio Canuck, you're very welcome in. Happy Sunday, guys. And, uh, or happy Saturday. And, uh, well, welcome in. Hope you guys had a fantastic stream. You'll never guess what, but we're in an aircraft from Captain Sim. And, yes, before you go, what? Yes. The C-130, and they've modelled uh, a full interior. This is a brand new release. It went live on their website yesterday, uh, and it's priced at around 40 bucks, give or take. It only comes with one livery, unfortunately. However, it looks the part. It certainly looks the part, and there is quite a good bit of functionality. A lot of the switches work, and um, pressurization and oxygen doesn't work, but in terms of the fuel, that's fairly accurate. The electrical system with generators and stuff, yeah, that's pretty good. None of the uh, fire control tests work, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, let's let's see what we can do here. So I just want to make sure, transponder, I don't see one. Uh, now here's something here for your transponder. Seven. So if we say six. No, hang on now, that's not right. These are different modes, that's not right. So let's have a look here. Uh, that's your gyro pilot, so we'll play with that now in a minute. We have calm radio, so if we do... If we do one two two decimal zero, one two two decimal zero, and the reason why I want to try this out, if I turn on what you call it, if I turn on active sky, <laughs> right? What a morning! If I turn on active sky, I wonder will this work? So that's going to download its own version of live weather, right? Because the winds are more accurate in active sky; they just are more accurate. Iowa Scotsman is here as well. Welcome in, Raiders. God almighty, it's very early Sunday morning, you know, for all the raiding. Hope you lads had a great stream. God almighty, between Studio Canuck and Iowa Scotsman, you're all very welcome aboard. Lads, how are you? Hope you had a great stream. We're here checking out a brand new release from Captain Sim. Now, before you turn off the television, right, um, they released it yesterday. And it is a C-130 Hercules. I couldn't tell you what variant. However, I will say this. They've modelled the entire cockpit. The entire flight deck is done. Plus, you can see the interior. It's nuts. It's the E-model, right? And there's quite a good bit of functionality built into the aircraft. Um, some things don't work, granted, but a lot of stuff does work. And we do have this little um, clipboard EFB thing to really go hatchet on opening and closing things. It's pretty cool. Arva, good to see you, man. Thank you very much indeed. Nine months, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, so it's kind of mad what you can do with this. And I saw other click spots. They're probably the visors, are they? Oh, they are visors. Look at this. Oh, look at the cut of this. Oh, yes. We'll get one here. Oh, we can't. Ah, sure. Look at the state. Ah, would you look at the state of this? This is only brilliant. Look at that. Lads, where would you get it? Where would you get it? Well, you get it here, Murph. Do you know what I mean? Uh, welcome in, everyone. Thank you all so much indeed for all the follows. And Well, welcome in. Hope you're all keeping very well. And we're going to go for a jaunt here. Uh, we're on the Southeast Asian server. Uh, we're up at Echo Golf Alpha Alpha, Belfast, Aldergrove. And we're going to rumble down to Shannon Airport, Echo India, November, November. And uh, as I said, we're on live time, live weather, Southeast Asian server, and we're in a C-130 from Captain Sim, and I'm using Active Sky. Before you all joined, I just want to see, can I get the friggin' radios working, right? So I'm, I've tuned into 120, no, it should be 122. Echo, Golf, Alpha, Alpha, it works. Airport information, Delta, 0550, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 1, 0, 000, sky clear, temperature, 1, Q and 8. So when that connects in, it's actually uh, talking to Active Sky. Now, Active Sky has gotten kind of a fairly hot and cold sort of a response, but uh, it does seem to work. Get rid of these lads now for a minute and I actually see what I'm doing. So, uh, are all my lights on? Exterior lights are on and our exterior lights 
are on. So all our lights are on. And uh, well, we're going to try and fly this and see what happens, right? So heading mode. I want to see what the autopilot can do. Now the last bit of trickery, lads, I need to see can we get some sort of a squat code in here. Because if we can get a squat code, well it means now... I don't know what that does. It means we can actually fly this guy. Oh, that's an ADF. We can actually get this gadget on, uh, on VATSIM. VHF. There's another ADF. Two ADFs? Okay. Uh, can't do much here, though. We do have speaker systems for our instruments. Uh, prop sync. Well, that works. Look. Well, some of it works. Um, transponder. The knobs you were messing with, in fact, are the... These ones here, Colonel Fork. SIF. Normal, low, standby, or off. Right, so that's this is your IFF, but it's... Where do we put in the code? Or are we restricted with the code? Are these numbers? How can we show what transponder we're on by using something from the in-sim gadget? Do you get me? Is there so... Uh... Did I just hear the words downrange? You did. You did. So this is our squawk. Right, if I open up a gadget here, just bear with me now. If I open up uh, the GTN 750, for instance, right? Let's have a look. GTN 750, appear you, and we'll open it. Where did you go? You're up here somewhere, right? Well, that open power is off. Right, we'll power it up there, Betsy. Right, she's warming up now. I just want to see, will this actually uh, affect the transponder code? Because if it does, we can absolutely use this on VATSIM. So 5021, look at this, lads. There's science at play here. Who's in charge? And will someone please pick up Jacinta? So 50, so if I want 64, so there's six. One, two, three, four, six, four. Transponder is working and it's on on or standby. Look at that. Off, standby, or on. So this is your transponder and it is working. Test complete. Brilliant news. I'm going to get rid of the GTN. And uh, fix your fix your stuff. Disable that and close. This is Parallel 42's flow, by the way. It's brilliant. Mr. G, Heidi says hello. Hello, Heidi. Ben Boren says, as the sun was setting in the Northern Hemisphere, I flew over to London and checked out Buckingham Palace and all the other cool buildings. Nice, man. Nice. Right. Check Discord. Hang on a second. Who's in charge? Then you said, never mind. I better check it anyway. Let's see. Uh, it's four degrees in Ireland, uh, Sean, but it's very warm here. <laughs> right? Murph, try and find this panel to squawk. Ah, gotcha now, gotcha now. No, I think we're good, we're good. Right, lads, shall we go flying? What's this thing going to be like? So, power coming in. Sounds aren't half bad. Off the brakes. Toga. Good sounds. Speed live. There's 70 knots, 80, 90, 100, 110, yep, see Daisy. Positive rate of climb, gear up. What's you like from the outside? Oh, yes. Not too shabby. Uh, speed 160. Flaps in. It's 10 p.m. in Alaska. And it's 19 above. Yikes. You sold. Good to see you. Sound is good. Are we going to use Vatsim? Maybe later, yeah. C-130. Yeah, Kev. It's a brand new release from Captain Sim. Uh, they only released it yesterday. It's mad, isn't it? Okay, so how does she fly? It's heavy on the roll, which I like. Pitch authority is a little bit sensitive. A little bit. But we've seen that with other aircraft. We can probably dial this in ourselves. Uh, trimming is an absolute devil. You need to put in a lot of trim. So we'll circle around. There's a bit of a turn. Easy now. Right, bring this power back a little bit because the RPM seems high. Torque back to about 15. 
I've no prop control, or at least that I can see. This is engine control. So you just have engine run as normal. Okay. Now we get the landing lights off, so let me see. Retract the landing lights. And we just kind of spin ourselves around here for the moment. Open up a bit of Nevigmaf. So as I said, I want to ramble down towards Shannon, lads. Which is roughly this direction, so if we go in now to our heading mode... And it's a course, I don't know, let's call it... Eh, two... Two and a bit, right? Roughly there. Now we're gyro pilot. Uh, Jesus, right, gyro pilot. Engage, so we have autopilot for the rudder, aileron and elevator. Right, that's on. And then we have this. Okay, there's another switch. And then we have altitude control. All right. Well, let's go in altitude control. Lock that in. Now we're going to see if everything works. Uh, and EJ, good to see you. This guy. It is. The loot. It's mad. It's mad. Mark B, thank you for the subscribe. Bell Bro is in the house. What's my name? It's Two Tone Murphy. You're very welcome in. No one, Captain Sim, is likely a flight model of a 172. So far, it's not, man. It's actually not. Right, can we can we adjust the heading? So autopilot or gyro pilot is set up. So if I want to change my heading here to 210, will she roll? Not rolling. So it's on. How do we do this now? Flight director manual. There we go. So I want 210 degrees. It's level flight at 6,000. Hear the sounds of a rocking. Look at her speed, 300 knots. Holy crap. Ewald, good to see you, my dude. 18 months, top of the morning. <laughs> you just woke up from your cross the pond flight. Well done. Did you see they had, um, did they have over 2,000 pilots yesterday with cross the pond? 2,000 lads. Who's in charge of this? Right, so we're holding 210. Let's bring it back over to 24. Yeah, autopilot's working. Okay. The autopilot works. We're fairly booting it here now. Look at that. That's kind of class looking, isn't it? Hang on a second. Bit of music here, Maestro, and we check it out. That works.
it's uh, right. It's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, Wayland Shutani, good morning. Yes, I didn't. I didn't have a thumbnail for this, but we'll be we'll checking out the tomahawk uh, when we get down to Shannon, right? So we're over speed. Yes, we are over speed. Bring her back there now, Jemima. Uh, now let me see. Heading. We're a little bit proud on this. Let's head her on over to about uh, 235. That'll turn our heading. Um, Mighty Heidi Dream Warrior. You're very welcome aboard. Thank you for the subscribe. Highly detailed and accurate model of a C-130 Hercules. Is that what they call it? It's not bad, right? It's not bad. Uh, Baldrick, good to see you. Good morning. I got a broadcast message on Vatsim thanking all 3,200 people who were connected yesterday. 3,000 lads. Mother of Janie Mac. Doesn't look like a top. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll check out the Tomahawk soon. Don't worry. False advertising, Murph. What do you like? We'll, uh, we'll tidy it all up. Don't worry. I just said we'll take out the C-130 for a bit of a spin here. Who's that behind us? Look. Oh, Scythe, you can man yourself. Where's Colonel Fork on? He was there until he wasn't. Oh, he's, he's there, look. He's behind us. Brilliant. So in flight, it's well, it's fairly stable. There's a bit of turbulence here, so we're using active sky, so that's going to be kind of, you know what I mean, putting in the, the, the stuff. Now, let's have a look and monitor things. So I can't do much with the engine RPM, but it's it's on the level. Um Torque is fairly okay. Jesus, we're turning here again now. Where exactly are you bringing us? Is that the wind hitting us, let's say? Uh, we can't do that with this radar either. Is that turbulence hitting us, or what is the deal? We've seven knots behind us. Two degrees. It's freezing out there. Autopilot is something I haven't experimented much with yet. Yeah, it, it seems to be hunting a heading line. As in, you know, the way it, it does that on some aircraft. It moves and it, it slaloms to find it. Do you know what I mean? Fierce Wolf, Colonel Fork, Kazaki Flyer is with us. Turd Ferguson is with us. Hummer, Gaseous Maximus, Yellow Board, Balut, Zythe, Captain Sickbag, and Control Major Tom. Welcome in. There's more. Uh, Janie. It's kind of cool, right? I mean, it is nice that we have a C-130 that actually finally has a freaking auto or a, a cockpit. Do you know? Because the other ones didn't have one. You know? So, um, yeah, as I said, the plan is we're going to get down to Shannon and then we're going to take the Tomahawk out for a bit of a jaunt. Uh, there's plenty of content now out on YouTube with people showing off the, the Tomahawk. But we'll have an out flight with it and uh, we'll see what sort of trouble we can get ourselves into. So you're all very welcome in. Happy Sunday, guys. And uh, if you've just woken up wondering what that sound, there's a cretin on the music. It, it is I, right? Malton Aviation says, hola from España. Good morning. How are you, man? What's the weather like in Spain? I bet you it's only lovely. It's very beautiful here. It's just cold. You know, proper cold. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Davis says, is Milviz still developing their C-130? No, no, they're still working on it. 100% Davis. They're still working on it, man. Yeah, so the autopilot is trying to... Well, you know what I mean. It's trying to hunt for it. But we'll see. Uh, really want to go to C-130. Curious of your thoughts. This isn't bad, right? This is not bad at all. Um, it looks great. Sounds pretty nice. And flying, you can definitely get a sense of the weight of the airplane. The pitch sensitivity is a little bit off, as in you can pull this thing up just by looking at it. Uh, the roll is quite good. And there is there is a fair bit of functionality. You know, radios, transponders, all that's working fine. Um, the electrical system with generators, that works fine. That's kind of it. The fuel system seems to work fairly good. Uh, we can't do that with pressurization or um, any of the fire testing or oxygen. None of that's working. But there's still quite a good bit. There's a lot of clickable buttons here. Um, oh, yeah, look. Even these lights work. Look, there's tons of click spots. So if we go nighttime with this now, how would you look? Yeah, like, look at it. It's a nice... Uh, it's nice, isn't it? It's pretty at night time. Like, the modelling is done very well. I mean, that looks class, isn't it? That looks very nice. 
This is Captain Sim, lads. What? Uh, right. It's like, why wasn't this released on April Fool's Day? But uh, it's it's doing well. Oh, look, we have all these click spots here as well. They're not visible from outside, though. But it can certainly move this thing, can't it? Like 300 knots, no problem to it. At 6,000 feet. So, uh, as I said, we're flying down towards Shannon Airport. And uh, let's see what sort of trouble we can get into there. So far, so good, though. Custom sounds? I think so. Do we have flyby sounds? Let's have a listen, right? Not terribly loud. Let's get a little closer. Something like this, right? Yeah, they're not bad. They're not too bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. There's plenty of rattle sounds and movements and all this sort of stuff. It's not bad. I uh, would love to fly the Skymaster. Ooh, C-37. C-37 Skymaster. Hmm. But there was no real kind of, um, there was no warning about this thing. It just kind of dropped. And again, like, Captain Sim's website isn't great. Like, it's it's like, what? Uh, save the engines from the KA350. I still think the sounds are custom. Yeah, they probably started with, like, a bass package and then added in a bit of kind of reverb and bass and stuff. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like. Hey, Wombat is here. Good to see you, man. Wombat, you're up after your bedtime. Welcome in. Hope you're well. So we're hearing Captain Sim. His C-130. And, uh... It has the interior done as well, look. And you can kind of see the detail and it's, it's done it's done nicely, lads, isn't it? So this is at the ramp looking back in. And this is back in looking at the ramp. But for some reason I can't seem to open the ramp whilst we're in the air, which is a bit of a problem. But I suspect that's some sort of a bug, perhaps. So if we open up our little tablet EFB clipboard thing, uh, if I want to open the ramp, see the way it just kind of flickers? Same with the uh, drop doors for the paratroopers. So the drop doors are like, I don't know, you've one here, and you probably have one on the far side. They're the drop doors for your paratroopers. So I'm hoping they fix that. Because Genobi class now, if you had a couple of these and a couple of C-47s flying over Normandy, wouldn't that be just class? Can only see Captain Sickbag consistently. On your multiplayer, really? Multiplayer's in and out. How's the night lighting? It, the night lighting is good. So that's your internal. And your external, it does say formation lights, but I can't see them. You know, I have the landing lights currently off. But uh, I don't see them with formation lights. I don't think they're working either. It's not bad, though. It's not, it's not bad. So we have sim effects here. Look at the shooting star, look. We have sim, uh, sim effects working here as well from Parallel 42. That's going to be released uh, as soon as sim update 15 drops. Uh, I believe it's something that has been reported as well. Nice, okay. So yeah, so the night lighting is pretty good. I really hope this means Captain Sim is turning back in the right direction. Well, I mean, look, they're a developer from, like, yesteryear who had very, very good add-ons. Back in the day, they were very, very good. Um, and then, you know, uh, well, they weren't very hollow aircraft, you know? Once upon a time, this would have been amazing, but in a world with Azure Poly and others, I'm not sure it's worth the cost. The Limbix, it is expensive. This is like 40 bucks. If it was 20 bucks, I'd say, yeah, lads, it's 100% worth it. At the moment, it's like, eh. If you're really jonesing to get a C-130, like if you really want a C-130, 
Well, then, yeah, get it. Because it's, it's all right. Uh, however, if you want to... I imagine now. But if you want to get probably... Well, definitely a, a higher fidelity, you'd be looking at Milviz when they release theirs. But I'm unsure will we see that before flights in 2024. It's, it's hard to call. I mean, you might, you know. But uh, it's hard to call. Superboy, good to see you. Would never get near Captain... Sc right, do you know what I mean? I'd be the same. I'm like... Look, at, I, I'll pick up these aircraft anyway because I'll show them off in a stream and, you know, if you like them, you like them. If you don't, well, at least then, you know, you've seen someone stream it to say, yeah, not my cup of tea. But I'm actually kind of surprised with how good this thing is considering the developer, considering, you know, the last time they did a C-130. It, this is a very, very different aircraft uh, to what you would come to expect from Captain Sim. Like, this aircraft has been, well, they say it's been built from the ground up. And it's fairly solid. As I said, it flies well. It looks great. I mean, the, the modeling and the texture work, I think it actually looks great. There's beautiful textures here, lads. Look at that. It's done really, really well. Yeah, Blackbird, which is Milvis, yeah, they're, they're going to come out with one as well. Like, there's a, you know, there's some things missing. Of course there are. Um, and there's a couple of bugs here and there that's kind of expected really from any aircraft these days so it'll be interesting to see what they uh what they can actually do you know candy has said some of the captain sim talent left the company wouldn't it be great if the company made a comeback yeah well that's what happened they lost they lost two of their main developers or certainly one of them back in the day for whatever reason you know whatever reason i owned everything that they had in the early days says Mets. yeah like some of their earlier stuff like captain sim made some crackers back in fx uh, fsx i'm not quite sure how they did on p3d but i know in fsx they did some really nice stuff really nice stuff do you know but uh sure listen we'll, we'll see how it goes lads do you know we'll see how it goes but uh, if you've just woken up to the sound of this age as well you're very welcome in lads thank you for joining us and uh we're just let's fly some sunday I went driving yesterday because it was nice outside and uh, the, a spring fell off the Skoda. So I'm raging. Uh, their best work on P3D was the L1011. Oh, the Constellation, says Adam. And also the 757. Nice. Belbro says, would love to get the C130, but I'm waiting for the Milvis one. Yeah. Bugs are expected on complex aircraft. Is this complex? Oh, that was the TriStar. Oh, it was the TriStar, Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is it complex? Well... Put it this way, there's more complexity to this than a default aircraft. Is it up near the likes of Azure Poly? No. There's a bit going on. Uh, the startup has logic to it. Generators work, fuel system works. Um, we have a lot of buttons and switches. The de-icing or anti-icing system works. We don't have any of the emergency controls as in fire detection or testing. We don't have anything to do with, you know, oil cooler uh, flaps. We can't really do anything with the uh, oxygen or pressurization. And there's a couple of buttons that don't work, but it's not bad. Yeah, a C-130 light, I would agree. If Carinado made a C-130, that's kind of where you're at, I would think. You know, that's actually a fairly good assessment. It's a Carinado-esque it looks great, sounds good, flies reasonably well, and there's a bit of systems in there. I don't agree with the price, though. It's heavy. It's 40 euro. Do you know what I mean? Like, for what? An extra 10 bucks, you have the Phoenix. Like, it's... You know what I mean? If this was a $20 add-on or $25 add-on, I'd say, yeah, absolutely, lads, jump in. You know? At least, who knows, they might keep working and making it better if they make the sales. That's You'd hope for that. You'd hope for that, Colonel Fork. Kazaki says, I think I used to own most of the Captain Sim FSX library. Love the 707. Yeah. Superboy says, I wish someone would make a high-fidelity TriStar. Well, TFDI are doing the... Um, well, that's not a TriStar. They're doing the uh, the MD-11. It's a TriJet, but not a TriStar. What we've we seen from Captain Sim so far, this seems like a turnaround. It does, Belbro. This does. I mean, look, this this is decent. Considering the developer, this is decent. But it's pricey, you know? 
Like, if this is going to be the best that they make, well, then this this will be their best in flights in 2020. Anyone else having Xbox app issues? Uh, I did this morning, Ewald. So I just restarted everything. Uh, shut down the gaming services and restarted them, and it seemed to be okay. My camera over there fell off the thing. I'm having a day of it, and it's only morning time, but, like, I'm up since half four. My camera over there decided to fall. Airplane Heaven also seemed to be making a turnaround between the P-47 and the sounds of the hurricane. Yeah, like the P-47, that's actually quite good. Uh, it, it, to me, it needs a bit of sounds. I think, I still think the most functional warbird available is um, is the F-4F. That got friends. But it just for it, the amount of stuff they put into that aircraft, incredible. Also, why not update their current C-130 rather than a whole new purchase? No idea, Limbix. And I, I like, Jesus, I, you would think, right? Do you know, if you bought the exterior model, will you get an up, will you get a discount on buying this? I don't think you do, which is nuts. Nuts, do you know? What it is, what it is. So we're heading down to Shannon. What's the weather in Shannon? Oh, we can probably tune that in. Uh, one to two decimal zero. Echo India Kilo November Airport Information. Knock. Struck zero six zero zero Sulu weather wind one one three at four visibility one zero thousand sky clear temperature six. So uh, winds are one one zero. Two four, I say, is it? Uh, Thirty five miles out of Degan, correct. How is Active Sky so far? The wind modelling is very good. Greetings to my favourite flight sim and viewers. Uh, the big honour being here. Operator Starsky. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, I'd rather look forward with cautious optimism than stay miserable and focus on the bad. Colonel Fork, that is probably the best thing to say about the entire situation. Yes, I agree. That is how it should be. <laughs> That's brilliant. But you have to say it in a French accent. Right? Like um, the Pink Panther. I would rather look forward with cautious optimism than stay miserable and focus on the bed. Or something like that. Balbo says, so late already. Have to go out to work. Have a nice Sunday. You take care, Balbo. Superboy, yeah. Um, Active Sky, it's, 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 it's a thing, ain't it? Um, it's working. You know, there was an update yesterday. And it seems to be working a little bit better. Definitely the wind, uh, or how they, uh, how they depict wind in the sim is very good. Yeah, very, very good, right? Um, when it comes, like, visually, it's not there to do anything visually. So, I'm using it today. Let's see what it, what it does. So far, so good. I love the fact that you have historical weather, and I like the fact that you can dial in, you know, radio frequency and actually get a voice atus. Echo India November November Airport Information Hotel Zero Six Three Zero Sulu Weather Wind Calm Visibility One Zero Thousand Sky Clear Temperature Seven QNH One Zero Three One Advice on Initial Contact You Have Information Hotel Information Hotel Winds Are Calm And uh, Let's Dial In The LQNH Echo, it Sometimes My Brain Comes Up With Fancy Sayings it's all downhill the rest of the night. <laughs> that was the one thing. Coined it and it's safe. Brilliant. But sure, listen, let's, you know what I mean. It'll be grand. So we're going to land at Shannon. Then we're going to take out uh, just flights upcoming Tomahawk. That should be a bit of fun. For some general aviation flying on this beautiful Sunday morning in Ireland. We're on live time and live weather, lads. It is stunning. We're over the Kilfenora neck of the woods here now. Well, kinda. That's Galway over there. There's the Burden. Isn't it beautiful? It is absolutely beautiful. Hang on, we'll play some music as we kind of... You know what I mean? What does this one do? Well, I can't say it's traditional Irish, but we'll go with it, right? Let's go with it. Southeast Asian server, Wombat.
Ace of Spades, 32 months. Thank you very, very much indeed, my guy. I hope you're well. Thanks for all the support, my guy. 32 months. So it's a brand new release from Captain Sim. Before we all go, you know, jumping out that window, it's actually pretty good. And it's a Captain Sim aircraft that features a virtual cockpit. Wait, what? Right. And there's a fair bit of functionality built into it, to be fair. But it's not cheap. It's a little bit on the, you know, it's expensive. It's 40 euro. Uh, Winkle Gassler, good to see you. Operator Starsky says, I'm craving to buy the Tomahawk. Saw two reviews yesterday. I wish my favorite Arrow 3 had the same level of immersion and features. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Um, put the car in swinger, baby. <laughs> Colonel Fork, thank you very much indeed. You just gifted five euros. It's thanks for what you do, the laughter, the fun. Where's the message gone? Not oh, balls, I had it there a second ago. Say it again! <laughs> it disappeared! It's, although it's on the screen. Thanks for the laugh and the fun! You're very welcome, Colonel Fork. I need to press the button, like, so that doesn't lose. Or it doesn't disappear. Thank you very much indeed. Really do appreciate it, my guy. Uh, so where are we? We're near Shannon, look. Where is Shannon? If I was Shannon, where would it be? I'd be over there somewhere. Yes. Uh, okay, so heading adjustment. Let us go to our heading. And um, let's uh, dial in... Bit of a left turn here. Let's head on over to 200 degrees as we start our turn. Kozaki's on the ATC. I'm thinking about it. What's the top speed? We're cruising here comfortably at 300 knots. 304 knots. You're kind of at the... You're nearly at don't exceed that speed. Look, I'd say about 310. About 310. What a machine, though. Goblin Zeus, good morning. How are you, man? Oh, this is beautiful. Live time and weather. Look at the state of the weather in Ireland. It's cold, though. It'll get warmer later. Now, where am I? I'm down near the end of the estuary. Uh, Foynes. There's Ahanish. So the airport is over there. Ah, there's the airport there. Right, grand. I'm heading in for runway 06. Let's see, can we hand fly it? So we'll go back to our gyro pilot and turn off the divil. So let me see. Altitude hold off. Autopilot off. And it's my airplane. So we're getting a warning to say autopilot off. No audible warning, but that's okay. So 
Let's roll it in. Hand flying this, it's nice. The roll is very good. It feels heavy, it feels cumbersome. The pitch is a little bit lively. But it's not bad. Uh, Airbus 380 driver. No, dude, it's a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right? It's a Captain Sim aircraft. So let's bring that speed down. As we come in over Shannon Estuary. Watch your speed. Do we have any uh, spoilers? No spoilers. Can I click that button? No. So the autopilot is just saying it's off. That's okay. Hank, yeah, probably, man. Like they could have, uh, they could have commissioned someone to build this for them. You know what I mean? Hello. Uh, Hey, Shift, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, dude. Happy Sunday, man. Right, so as we're approaching, let's go ahead and turn on some lightage. Lights on. Now we're way too fast for some flaps, so let's go in over foins here. Look at that, lads. Isn't that pretty? Look at the state of that. That is pretty. Come on out of that garden. This is a brand new release. It's a brand new release. Uh, and it's a little bit pricey as well. It's 40 euro. And it's a brand new C-130. They said they built it from the ground up. And it includes a very nice virtual cockpit. And there's a good level of functionality with it as well. Good level of functionality. So we're going to fly up the estuary here on this Sunday morning. We're going to approach, uh, approach Foynes here now in a moment. I think so, Ewald. I didn't even see, um, I didn't even see, like, any sort of a discount. If you had the previous version from Captain Sim, I don't see anything here about a discount, unfortunately. Maybe there is, but I didn't see one. Jays, look at the water. It's so calm. It's like glass. All right, so we're going to take this in for a landing here in Shannon. Then we're going to jump into Just Flights Aircraft. Uh, no, they confirmed there is no discount, says Mets. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, speed 250, coming down nicely. And we just meander up. The Shannon Estuary, by the way, anyone who likes flying boats, like the Clipper, the Boeing 314 Clipper, this is the route they used to take. They fly in the estuary and they used to land at Foynes. Jesus, we're below radar here. Look at this. We got a formation behind us. Look at that, lads. That's class looking. F-14s, F-18s, all sorts of BJs is going on. So around 230 knots. Waking up the Westerners. And we're just going to ramble up the estuary here. And uh, it's going to be 06 arrival into uh, Shannon Airport. Everything's visual, so we're grand at the moment. So speed is coming down. With the Foynes VOR, or VOR rather, just here. That's pretty. There's Foynes coming up here on the right-hand side. Then we've Ahanish Illumina. Hello, and then we'll have Zero Six coming in. Uh, Gaming Gogs, thank you very much indeed for the follow. How are you, man? Uh, thank you so much. So here's uh, Ahanish coming up. You'll notice that on uh, from VO4 flying because it's all orange. It's actually orange over there. It's a big steelworks. There's the village of Foynes. There's actually a great flying boat museum in Foynes. And they actually built a replica of the 314 Clipper. Uh, unfortunately, none survived today. That's all Ahanish out there. See the orange kind of texture there? And you can see that, as I said, any sort. it's a visual reference point. Then you have the factory. So we're looking good. Speed is 210. Let's bring it down a small bit. The F-18 just fell like a stone. Medic! He needs a medic! Okay, first notch of flaps coming in. Let's see how it reacts to a bit of drag. D-cell is happening, so it reacts. 
Now, what's she going to be like for a landing? Speed is now 200. We're well below the glide path, but that's quite okay. We're at a thousand feet. Easy does it now. The pappies aren't happy. Speed 190. We'll wait for 180, then we'll drop the gear. Here's 180. Gear coming down. Nice animations. Oh yeah, very nice animations with the gear, look. Hear the sound of the drag? That's really good. More flaps. She's getting a little bit rickety rockety. Full flaps. Speed 160. Easy does it now. Right, put the nose down. We're on the glide slope. Off at Alpha. Really? Did you get off at Alpha? Holy smokes. Colonel Fork it off at Alpha. That's a record. Speed 140. Look at this thing. Flaps are fully down. Gear is down. This is a machine altogether. Easy, does it? Plenty of traffic ahead of us. Couldn't tell you what the uh, what the approach speed is. Let's keep it at one thirty, just because. Well, isn't it kind of class? So far, so good. Full reverses? Yeah, I'll use full reverse. They're kicking up some smoke, kicking up some dirt, dust, the whole shebang. I can't see the runway. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. There's a touchdown zone. Power to idle, hold the nose. Easy, easy, easy. We're not getting off at Alpha. Easy. Touchdown, 139. Reversers. Nose wheel down. Okay, I'm not getting a, much of a sound from uh, the reverses and beta. But they are engaged. Don't go off the runway, Murph. Look at that, lads. Look at that. Out of beta. They need to work on the sounds for the uh, for the beta stuff. Column Aider, good to see you, man. C-130, uh, it'll be great with smoke trails from SimFX. Probably. I'm using SimFX, yes. Oh, look at the aircraft behind us, look. There's Wombat. Kozaki's ahead of us in a C-130. We'll exit where he is. Now, how do we get rid of that flashing light? Interesting. Quaggy is here. Good to see you. Tis chilly today, man. Tis chilly today. Okay, idle coming in. I see an iron bird up ahead. He's in an A320, probably up at Dublin. Okay, so we're going to ramble off here. On to Charlie. We can take the deltas in. So, landing lights coming off. All right. Not an unfamiliar sight coming into uh, Shannon Airport is a C-130. What do you think, lads? Now, some effects. Can we turn on some effects here for this machine? Engines. I don't think they're working with this aircraft. Exhaust, heat blur, thrust, touchdown smoke, ground effect. Yeah, some things don't seem to be working.
There's Colonel Fork taxing ahead of us. So the props don't work with a fire LOD. Now they're working. So if you're far away on your LOD, they won't work. See that? Oh, no, they're working fine now, look. It's a beautiful looking machine, the C-130, isn't it? The Hercules. Model matching put an AIG C-130 in place. Did it! Brilliant! Does it also have paratroopers jumping? It doesn't, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any of that stuff. And again, like, you can't open anything when she's moving, look. Which is a bit of an issue. Right, we'll taxi down here a small bit. I might actually park up behind Colonel Fork. Because you rarely see these things go to the gates. Look at it, isn't it cool looking? She's a fine bus, this thing. That radar display, can't have admit it. Unfortunately. The plane isn't too bad either. <laughs> Quaggy, brilliant. I think they've done a good job, lads. I mean, look at... I'd say otherwise. I mean, if this was a ball of crap, I'd say, look, it's a ball of crap. It's not. This is not a ball of crap. This is pretty nice. Is it worth the price of 40 bucks? Nah, it's not. This is more like a 25... Maybe 30 at a push, but 40 is a little bit... You know what I mean? Only the only the chosen few who really want this aircraft will be like, yeah, I'm okay with that price. Captain Sim, boss man. Captain Sim. Uh, the flight model is good. Pitch authority is a little bit sensitive. Um, it's a little bit giddy on the ground, but no more than other aircraft. Uh, but it feels like a heavy aircraft, so the flight model feels okay. I've never flown a C-130, so I'm only guessing, but it feels heavy, especially in the roll. Now, what about messing with a couple of engines here? Let's see what the logic can do. So we can hear them spooling down, all right. Yeah, they feather. That's kind of nice. Well, I say they feather, they just shut down. Yeah, it's a little bit giddy on the ground. Not terribly so, but you know. Glad to hear Captain Scam hasn't re uh, reused your Sobo 747. Yeah, yeah, no, like they've they've done the wrong thing with this. It looks the job. I'm gonna park up here on the right hand side. Well, we can park here where we are, but we're going the right hand side. Let's see what it's all about. Like you'd love to see the Spectre gunship model, just to have a 105 and a couple of Bofors pop out the side. Do you know what I mean? Okay, we'll ramble up this way a little bit. Power to idle. On the brakes. And we're we'll bringing in for a gentle stop. That looks pretty good. Pack a brake on. Engines, two and three. Kill the engines. And let's see if we can appear here. Get the ramp open. Gear doors, access hatch. Get the whole shebang going. Intake plugs. So we got it completely open, right? There is a bit of logic, so I won't put the plugs in while the engines are moving. That's kind of good. What else do we want here? So cowlings, open them. Intake plugs, put them in. Put the flag out through the top. Get the radar open. Get the windows open. Right, that's everything open. I mean, look at that. Look at the detailing. It's very, very nice, isn't it? Details under the engines, look at that.
It's pretty. For a Captain Sim product, it looks very good. Absolutely. Lunar Lighthouse, good to see you, man. Like, there's plenty of detail in here. It's pretty. So there we have it, lads. A C-130 from Captain Sim. That's a whole lot different and better than their previous attempt. It's mad, isn't it? Couple of bugs. Let's see if they can fix them. Uh, but it flies well. It flies really well. There's a ton of detailing in this. Textures are all pretty good. Watch your head. And then back into the flight tech. I mean, look at the detail. It's very, very good, isn't it? So there's your LOD from exterior to interior, which, you know, a couple of aircraft have that. You're not going to get too excited. I think they've done a great job. I, this is a good aircraft. Um... If it was an unknown developer, you'd say, yeah, these guys have great potential. The fact that it's from Captain Sim, it looks like a turnaround. It really does. Some man hour and details. Yeah, yeah, it's done really well. Beautiful. Yeah, I wonder what the sources for the LOD are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so that concludes the C-130. We're now going to check out something else. This is coming uh, from Just Flight. And it's that of their PA-38 Tomahawk. Now, again, I'll be checking all this stuff out next Wednesday on the news. But uh, I wanted to go flying in this thing. So uh, if this gets a sound pack, I might pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a sound pack for it. I'm sure of it. You know? Uh, Marco, good to see you. Thank you very much. Good landing. We didn't, you know, break anything, which is always a bonus, right? Always a bonus. Hello there. Uh, and Wolfie, thank you very much for the follow. Good to see you, man. Uh, right, so what do we want? Oh, there she is there. A PA-38 Tomahawk. So I'm going to take this for a blast. This is currently in development by Just Flight, and they're hoping to release it soon. I'll give you an idea of some of the liveries that we can get. Um, a lot of pilots trained on the Tomahawk. Um, and uh, you can see there, she actually has British Airways uh, colours as well, because, well, it's part of their own flight school, you see. So there's this beautiful yellow uh, German-registered aircraft. That looks gorgeous. I might go with the yellow one for the crack. Uh, and we do have some options. And we also have the ability to put in a custom tail number uh, using this kind of a blue livery, which is pretty, white and blue. Uh, but I might go for uh, this yellow one only because it looks friggin' mad, right? And I'm going to ramble back down to Shannon Airport. And we'll go down to the general aviation ramp uh, or general aviation parking, right? And, uh, well, let's see what this thing can do. So if you're interested uh, about this one, more eyes will see it uh, than if I had. Uh, not at all, Colonel Fork. And, well, thanks for letting me know it came out. You let me know about it. I didn't know the C-130 came out. I saw you. I was like, I saw yourself and um, Nace chatting about the C-130. I was like, oh, I better grab that. Do you know? Uh, Shiv says, what's funny is I was just saying I'd love to see a C-130 if I had a cockpit. Right? You know what I mean? How do you get preview copies with add-ons? Uh, you need to kind of work with developers, uh, Maffer. It takes time. You have to build up thrust and all this kind of or trust and all this kind of stuff. You know, uh, how was I not following before? Well, if you, I don't know. This is some sort of craziness. Uh, but I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hang on. Don't panic now. I need to reset absolutely everything. Oh Jesus. Hang on, plane. State saving. Uh, cold and dark. Cold and dark selected. Now I can't for whatever reason turn off the friggin' GTN. So if you do see any bugs with this, well, do know she's still in development. But there is a bug, and I think Just Flight are aware of it. So you can have no GPS, you can have your GTN, or sorry, you can have a GNS 430, 530, or a 750. I've gone with the 750, but uh, it, do it doesn't want to turn off for whatever reason, right? Uh, so here we are with a PA-38 Tomahawk. And I have to say, this thing is absolutely 
gorgeous. It's so small. It's teeny tiny, uh, but it's really, really nice. Do you know, um, Bengo or Bengo Pilot, welcome in, dude. Thank you for the follow. Great to see you. Um, so look at the texturing and the modeling on this. Like, Just Flight have done an incredible, incredible job with this thing, right? And it is the quintessential general aviation airplane. I mean, what a transition from a C-130, you know, airliners down to this, right? Uh, oh yeah, the Vulcan. I haven't flown the Vulcan in ages. Yeah, that's, that's, that'd be worthy of a flight. Wombat says, I did my primary training on one of these. I'm not sure how I survived. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Sean Dale says, this is the reason I woke up at 0600 this morning for the Tomahawk. Nice. Uh, the best GA we have produced, I heard uh, Just Flight say. Uh, yeah, 100%. And, well, when you look at the detailing, lads, this thing is a thing of beauty. For such a small little airplane, right? Uh, well, they've completely rebuilt the, the model and all the textures. Now, again, it's in a pre-release state, meaning this is not the final version so if you do see something kind of mad, weird, or wonderful, well, don't worry. They're still developing it. They're still working on it. But it's coming very, very, you know, shocking very soon, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, look, you can see there's a lot of detailing here. Beautiful textures, there's wear and tear, there's dirt, there's grime. They've done a superb job, I think, on the overall look of the airplane. I mean, look at the dirt here under the wing. Look, can you see that? Is that coming up? Like, you can see the crack here, right? It just looks really, really nice. So we'll go uh, kind of meandering around. See our chocks there? Tie downs, they're all done really well. The lights out in the wing. The top of the wing. Trailing edge. Ailerons, flap. A little step up into the machine. <laughs> Look. Jesus, that's something I'd break just by looking at. Um, You know. In at the cockpit as well we'll uh we'll have a go at that as I, they all use this lod uh as i said i can't for whatever reason get rid of the um state saving, state enabled. saving disabled i can't turn off that gtn state safe but it is what it is i imagine it's uh i imagine it's a little bug with the tow bar on the front there now as well so uh, I mean, look at look at the detailing, look at the texture work, isn't it beautiful? I think they've done a superb job here. Beautiful tea tail, and the sound showcase video. They've already released the uh, the sounds uh, or a, a showcase video of the sounds. It's incredible. It's incredible. How do the stall stripes on this plane look like? Stall stripes. Um, what are your PC specs? It looks amazing. It's a fairly beefy machine, all right. Uh, Exclamation point specs, I think, works. It's a mad looking plane, isn't it? A Piper PA38. Two seater. This would be most comparable in terms of what it can do um, and its role, if you like, as a Cessna 152 or a Cessna 150. It's in and around that. There's advantages uh, Piper has and Cessna have. And uh, there's an aircraft starting up somewhere. And uh, what you think, isn't it gorgeous? Right? So what I'll do, I'm just going to deactivate multiplayer for a moment because I want to, you guys need to hear the sounds, right? You just need to hear the sounds. There we go. Right, so we'll have a now listen there. Right? Uh, Sticky Rice, good to see you. It was your first trainer as well? No way, man, no way. Okay, so let's jump inside in the cockpit. And have a listen. That's the sound of the friggin' clock. Right? Incredible, incredible stuff. Some of the other sounds. Right? Incredible. Um and they 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 already did a YouTube video on all the uh, on all the sounds and what they're like. And it's just like holy crap. Like to us, right? Having accurate sounds in a flight sim product is so important because well, we don't have that sense of feeling, right? So sounds are so important because they kind of bridge the gap. They make the brain think, no, no, you're in the thing, do you know? So uh, yeah, it's it's stunning, right? So uh, again, some of the sounds, if you just listen, like it's unbelievable. 
uh, like the, the flap handle, right? Change the spring. Ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, if you listen then to even the freaking trim. And if I were to move the flight controls, right? So we go full, full <laughs> just, just listen to the sounds. Hello there. Santi, thank you very much. Right? It's nuts, the sounds, right? It's nuts. Very, very good. Do you think this would be better than A2A's Comanche? Oh, Liberty Flight. Um, I wouldn't say better, but it's up there. This would be... Uh, they're very different aircraft. The Comanche 250, it's way faster. Uh, it'll fly for longer. It can carry more people. However, with the Tomahawk, this thing was designed for training. Like, it, it, You're not going to take your family for a spin of this thing. You only got two seats, right? But... In terms of the fidelity, just flight have really flexed uh, their capabilities when, you know, when they, you look at their sounds or you listen to their sounds, right? Uh, this aircraft does not disappoint. It's some of the best sounds you're going to get in the sim. And that includes what A2A have done. Like, they're, the two of them are up there. But what A2A have managed to accomplish so far with this thing, they've brought the visual aspects up to as good as their sounds as well. And, like, A2A never had an issue with their visuals. They always looked incredible. This is on a, a different level, lads. Like, look at the freaking glare shield. Look. look at the reflections and the textures. Like, we're on a different level here. You know what I mean? Like, the detailing is off the freaking chart. Like, the textures inside the aircraft. And there's not much about this aircraft. Nothing much happens here. Hello there. But it's done really, really well, you know? Car DTM, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. So we'll go through a couple of options here. We'll get some things open here. So, uh, let me see. The doors, right? Get them open. Now, again, you can do all this manually. I mean, if you wanted to, just grab the door, lock it, and then up in your overhead, it seals it. Right? So you can do a whole load of stuff here if you want. Right? It's done really, really well. Or really, really well. Uh, what's the menu disabled multiplayer? This is Flow Pro by Parallel42. It's called Flow. And uh, it's absolutely incredible. Right? Absolutely incredible. <clears throat> right. Let's have a look here now. So we have uh, we have fuel. Left and right. And then it's locked so you won't turn it off. And then if you need to unlock it. Press the valve. Or sorry. Press the lock and uh, close the valve. We have a throttle. We have a mixture. We have a primer. Right? Uh, you have navigation lights. Disappear the yoke. And we have circuit breakers. Not all of them appear to be modelled, but the main ones are. We have air vents. Disappear this yoke. More air vents. Heater, defroster. It's a very simple airplane. Right? But what we're going to do, they have this wear and tear. The plane is alive. There's consequence for what you're doing. There's tyre pressures. A tyre could blow or go flat. Oil usage. Damage to structural damage. Ailerons. All that sort of jazz. The thing is alive, right? Um, and that's what they meant by their most advanced or their best aircraft ever. Just why I have coded so much into this, right? Plus they give you an autopilot just for handiness and you can adjust trim sensitivity. You can do a whole load of stuff. State saving and you can put in additional avionics if you wish. We can remove the ADF. We can remove the nav. You can see all this stuff appearing, disappearing. Uh, and as I said, for whatever reason, I can't change out the, uh, the GPS. It's an issue. Uh, it could be something on my machine or it's a bug that uh, Just Flight are working on. But just be aware, they're aware of it, right? Um, also, your charts. This is a feature they brought in with the 146. So you can actually go down here and start messing through your charts, look. Right? How cool is that? And you can put anything in there if you want. I mean, look, it says it here, look. If you want to put in your own documents or pictures, you know, that sort of crack, if you wanted to. Well, you can. So they tell you how to do it, right? So uh, we'll put them back. So it has a walk around mode, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So when we do it, you have this random condition. Current hours of less than an hour in it. Wear rate, you can accelerate the wear. 
you can turn that off if you don't want it, right? You can do, like, it's up to you, right? Um, just like I'm giving you the option here, just like Accusim, I mean, you have all them options if you wish uh, to go in and do all this stuff, right? Uh, so we're going to this walk around mode, and it's on the tablet, right? Now, it's not like A to A, but it's not far off it. So if we were to start it out the cockpit door, we're going to do our first check. So we're going to click on the camera position. It brings us to that station. And you can see now what checks we have to carry out. Aileron, flap and fuel. So you can click on the aileron. And it gives you a green tick to say you've checked the ailerons and it's coming up with their conditions. Left aileron is okay or it'll give you the option to repair it. Okay, what about the flap? Seems okay. Flap condition is okay. And then the fuel quantity. And here's our options to refuel it. It's like out of the naked gun, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's brilliant. Whoops. Do you remember that? Brilliant, right? Uh, someone's a horse, right? Is there a price bracket on this? I think it's in and around 30 bucks. In and around 30 bucks, I would say. Or 40. I can't remember now. It's just flight, so somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks. Roughly. They, they, they'll announce it themselves. But like, if it's just flight, that's usually what they aim for, isn't it? You know? Uh, right, so what did we put in there? 75%. So we got... We put in 15 gallons in the tank. Okay, so that's that station complete. Moving on. We have more, right? So it's... And you hear the footsteps walking, right? So, uh, chocks remove. Toggle chock. Chocks are gone. Okay. Uh, left tire, check the tire. So it's giving us our pressure, 29 PSI, and the condition is 99%. Okay, that's good. Uh, next, we have the stall warn, or the stall warning flap. That's working. Next are the tie downs. We need to remove these guys. We're going to toggle the tie down. The fuel strain. Uh, where's the... I don't know, do we just kind of connect into it? Uh, toggle tie down fuel strain. So we can drain the fuel. And it's saying that the water quantity is zero, right? Uh, correct, William. Yes, correct. Uh, right, pedo cover we need to remove. Pedo head, repair, toggle cover. Toggle the cover. And then the gear strut. The struts are done in this. So we'll check the strut. 99%. Very good. Next station. So the chocks, they are removed. The nose tire, or the nose tire we need to check. Uh, remove the tow bar. Check the tire. Uh, pressure is good. And condition is good. Uh, the propeller we need to check. The sound, lads. Right? Uh, fuel strain. Check that again. <sighs> right? Eagle Airways. Aaron, good to see you, man. Uh, fuel is okay. And then the gear strut. We're going to check on that as well. And that says its condition is good. Perfect. Let's go to the next station. So, the chocks have been removed. It's asking us now to check the right tyre. Click on the tyre. And we can see pressure is good, condition is good. Engine check. So if we click on check engine. Now I don't know will you get a visual representation of this. I'm unsure. But we can see that the engine condition is 98. Fuel or the oil quantity is 7.9 quarts. We can refill the oil. Or replace the oil. Right? Pretty cool. Uh, tie downs need to remove. Click on the tie down. We'll hit toggle. Off they go. Fuel strain. And the gear strut as well. And that's good. That's that's 99%. Okay. Next station. So here we have the same crack again. Flap is good. Aileron. Good. And fuel. And we'll go 15. It's pretty good, isn't it? Next. We have the elevator. 
sounds. Looks and sounds good. Uh, the rudder. We can also check on the antennas. Because they are calm and navs. Yeah, transponder is there as well. So if their condition goes, you'll have a failure. It'll give you a fail, uh, a failure on your uh, radios and stuff. So our walk around is complete. Return to the cockpit. Walk around is complete. So I'm happy enough with that. So we're going to continue on. We're going to get the doors closed and latched. And we're going to get our door closed and latched. Up to the overhead. See the seal is open on both doors. See that open gap? Well, we pull this flap backwards. And then we're in. We're in, right? Either I've been playing too much Fallout 4 or some of these sounds are like they're from the Pip-Boy. Right? Brilliant, Colonel Ford. Brilliant. Um, okay, so let's get this aircraft up and running. We're going to open up our little storm window. And let's have a look in here. So, we have a couple of switches. We have a battery. Alternator. We have an anti-collision light. Open the fuel tank. Mixture rich. Open the throttle. Fuel pump on. Fuel pump off. Uh, we do have a primer. Brilliant. Got our nav lights on. Radio lights on. And uh, it's going to be a start up in the engine now. So, uh, mags right, left, both. <laughs> Bit of power. Leaner mixture. And we're good. Go start in the engine. Those sounds are incredible. Close the window. Reset our barrel. Directional header. And let's have a listen to these sounds. They're quite incredible, aren't they? They're really, really good. Okay. So now I suppose it's time to fly the devil. Uh, so what have we got here now? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Lights are good. That's looking good. Landing light comes on. Heater heat comes on. Fuel pump. Leave it off for the moment. So we're gonna come off the brakes. Brakes off. Small bit of power. Guys, turn around. There's a bit of a shudder. Thanks, Sim. Get our multiplayer back on. Give it a second. And there we go. Uh, Cat Blue Flame. Hey, Marv, just woke up. How would you compare systems fidelity to the Comanche? It's fairly good. It's fairly good. Look at the brake pedals. Isn't that incredible? So we'll uh, we'll go out by uh, runway six here. There's Colonel Four. It's a 
beautiful little plane, this, isn't it? And it's as basic as you can get. It's mad looking. So uh, we'll ramble on down and we're going to blast off from 06. Just, uh, just fly to Turbo Arrow is the best. It's pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, she's older than the Skoda and it still sounds better. <laughs> Almost like the sounds are spot on. Nice. Uh, not released just yet. It's, I think it's due out very soon. So keep an eye on Just Flight's website. They're going to release this very soon. Uh, I'm also having an issue with the transponder on this as well. But again, it's probably because I can't turn off the, the PMS 750. You can fly this with no GPS. But it's a bug. So I'm not overly worried. Like it's, it's, it's pre-release. You're going to get that. You know what I mean? Flaps. Like the texturing on this aircraft, it's stunning. It's just, it's beautiful. And they've even thrown in an autopilot for good measure as well. Even though there's no autopilot on it. Uh, well, you know, you want to fly this thing? There's an autopilot. So you can see our fuel quantities were good. And I have it set that, that the fuel tanks will change automatically. Auto fuel selector. Otherwise, you got to time it. I think it's every 15 minutes you want to change your tank. And there's no fear turning the devil off because we have a little lock here. If I undo the lock, well then yeah, it's liable to turn off. So uh, we'll do a run up here before we get going. Pretty little plane this. Do you think they'll add more animations to the walk around? I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Like, it, it's very functional, you know? Pilot Kid, this is um, a PA-38 from Just Flight. Actually, I need to update me, uh, me bot. It's not, it's not released yet. It's coming soon. So, park and brake on. Let's update the bot. There's the bot. Uh, where's my map? Right, I'm thinking we fly down to Kerry. Echo India Kilo Yankee. Down to Kerry. But before that, we're going to do a run-up. So, mixture full. RPM in. Bring it up to about 1800 RPM. Roughly there. Okay, mag test. Let's go on the left. It's a drop, back to both. Back to the right. There's a drop, back to both. Carpeat on. There's the drop, back to both. Idle. Make sure she doesn't cut out. And we're good. Run up complete. Sweet. Alright, good stuff. Off the brake. Taxi on. Yeah, I'm using Active Sky, so let me see if I put in one, two, two decimal zero. Echo, India, November, November, airport information, Lima, zero, seven, zero, zero, Sulu, weather, wind, zero, zero, three, at three, visibility, one, zero, thousand, sky condition, view, clouds at eight, hundred, temperature, eight, Q and H, one, zero, three, one, advice on initial contact, you have information, Lima. Okay. Information, Lima. So, lights are on. Echo. It Fuel pump on for takeoff. Ah, oh, we can do an intersection departure here. We don't need to worry too much. Get this reset. Get our view reset. How are we looking? We're looking good. All right. So onto the active. It has damage wear and tear. Absolutely, absolutely. The aircraft is very much alive. Like if you're if you skid your tires, it'll detect that. I'll show you, watch. Uh, 
Now, Sim... Oh, Jesus. Sim FX from Parallel 42. See the tire marks? That's what Sim FX is doing. But if we go in now and just check on the condition of the aircraft, right? Uh, let's see here now. I can't do the walk around, but condition... When we land, you'll know that the tires are going to be kind of under a little bit of pressure because I've just yucky booed the Jays out of them, right? So, uh, let me see. Off the brakes, we've got one flap. Power coming in. Let's go flying. Take off power set. Speed alive. Forty knots. You're sixty. Yep, see Daisy. Pause. You're ready to climb. Flaps in. Look at that. Would I recommend Sim FX? Yeah, I think so, MDA, yeah. Like, I mean, it, it adds in the auroras, shooting stars, there's nice effects on the ground, there's, you know, there's uh, visual effects for, like, engine thrust, rain, all that sort of stuff. I, li I like it. I mean, you just kind of run in the background. You set it and you forget it and that's it. All right, get our trim sorted here. And the aircraft is behaving as it should as well. I mean... It'll pull to the left or right, depending on your torque. Um, it's behaving really, really well. And again, like, we can disappear the top. Like, get it out of there if you don't want it there. So we're going to start a turn here to the left. We're going to head down to Kerry Airport. So we're going to bring our RPM down a smidgen. Roughly there. And uh, we'll keep a, keep a bit of a climb going. Is there headphone simulation? I don't think so. But you can use the in-sim version of it as well. Uh, where have I got that hiding? No, that's not it. Where to put the headphone simulation? It's in here somewhere. Hang on. Uh... Headphone simulation, turn it on. So the sim will override it. If you wanted to. Ah, Gibbo, good to see you. You're joining me while I'm in bed once again. Dorty. <laughs> Brilliant. So this is uh, Just Flight's Tomahawk. We're taking out for a bit of a spin here this morning, just to kind of show it off. And Gibbo, we flew the Captain Sim... C-130 earlier on, and it's actually all right. What? It's actually all right, man. It's dear, though. Like, it's 40 quid. So not ideal, but it's it's good, right? So we're up now at 2,000 feet. I want to go a little bit higher because this devil, uh, well, it can spin, right? It's not supposed to, but you can spin the bejesus out of this airplane. So we'll get up a little bit higher and uh, we'll see how it handles. It's a, it's a very pretty airplane. 20 quid for the outside, 20 quid for the inside. Airlock dock, fairly accurate, yes, fairly accurate. Right? Sean Dale, have a great day, man. Check out the flyby sounds, right? Now mind your ears with this. There's loads of planes with us. Nice. Right, what, what am I trying to do here? Oh yeah, climb a bit. I may not be uh I may not be high enough to do me, me spins here, but we'll try it, right? So pull up the nose. 
Power to idle. There's a stall. And give us a spin, please. Easy, easy. Don't overspeed it. Got to be very careful trying to pull it back up. All right, we'll try that again, will we? Just before stall, kick in the rudder. There's the stall. There's a spin. Opposite. Oh, she doesn't like that. Oh. Oh, it doesn't like that sound at all. Oh, Jesus, we're in trouble. I'm after shagging it. We're in trouble. I'm after breaking the friggin' elevator. I don't believe it. Uh, we're, we're dead. We're dead. Elevator's gone. My controls are gone. I've lost control of the aircraft. I've killed it. It's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> Can we do like a quick repair? Ah, oh, Jesus! Hang on. Warning. Flap is gone. Elevator's gone. You've broken the whole shagging lot, Murphy. Uh, ooh, ooh. And now we're in a spin and now we're going... We died. <laughs> right? We overstressed the thing. Right, I need to fix this. Don't mind me at all. All is well in the realm. Vasco, good to see you. Right. Oh, Jesus. Easy now. Oh, God. No, no, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Shh, shh. Calm. We're still dead. <laughs> How do we fix this mess? What if it... Hang on. Whoa, now, Betsy. No. 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 Right. What if I do something like that? I'm really after breaking it now, lads. Right, give it a second. Right, respond, plane. Don't spin. Recover the situation, Murphy. Right, we're alive. What the Jesus. Right, now turn back on the stuff. Failures and wear and tear. Yes, please. Oh, wait, I need to fix these systems. How do you fix it? Uh, oh. I've broken everything. Overhaul the aircraft. Oh, you can't do it in the air. I don't believe it. It's, it's totally gone. Oh, no. Yeah, it's shagged. Next, you say Skodas are a good car. Listen, it actually is a fairly good uh, C-130, Gibbo. But don't, don't mention about the Skoda. I went out for a drive yesterday, Gibbo. Right? I need to return to the airport here, lads. I went out for a drive yesterday... And the spring on the driver's side front broke. A bit of the friggin' coil ended up on the ground. Heart is broken. Right plane. Park and brake. Let's be having you. Shut down the machine. And let's see, can we do a walk around? Because we're going to need to do one. Start the walk around. Start. Right. What have we broken? Aileron. It's faulty. Repair it. The flap. Repair it. The fuel. We're grand. Right, next. Oh, look. Left tyre. It's actually all right. Tie downs, that's grand. That's okay. Fuel strain's grand. Gear strut. That was okay as well. Oh, that's okay. What about up here? What did it break? Nose tyre. 99%. Propeller's still okay. Oh, don't... St I have the mags turned on. That's why you see the way it's spinning. That's how you lose an hand or an arm. Jesus. Fuel strain, gear strut. Yeah, they're all okay. Uh, next. Engine. That's okay. Tire. That's okay. Fuel and gear strut. They're all okay. Next. Aileron. Yeah, I broke that. Repair it. Flap. Repair it. The sounds are great, aren't they? Uh, oh, I totally shagged this. Repair, repair all this. Elevator good. Antennas. Right, they're all good. Right, return. <sighs> right. <laughs> let's go flying. But this time, let's not die. Right? 
Uh, close that. Unlock it. And now see if she start. It should start. No, it won't. Some fuel in there now. And we're looking good. Right, we're good. I hope. All is looking well in the realm. Turn off that. Right, let's go flying again. Break everything or go home. Right? <sighs> 40 knots. There's 60. Yep, too daisy. Positive rate. All right, that's a bit better. Vasco says, hoping one day to see proper airframe damage. It'd be pretty cool, but I'd say, I'd say difficult because like there's no soft modeling on them, if you know what I mean. But yeah. Right, so we're heading down to Kerry. This time we're not going to break it in a spin because I broke it, you know. Captain Harlock is like, that didn't take long. It really didn't take long. <laughs> Oops. There's soft modeling in 2024, apparently. Is there? Jesus, really? HOA has visual damage when you crash. But there's visual damage so far as the prop. And some aircraft have um, sparks and visual effects and all that jazz. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's ramble on as if we're heading to Kerry. Live time and live weather. It's absolutely stunning here, isn't it? I'm using Active Sky for the weather, and that's what it's given us, so... Yeah, it looks good. Easy now, plane. Easy. Okay. So back out over the estuary, and we're going to ramble on down to, uh, to Kerry. Altitude is a little bit low, but let's look at this autopilot. So we've got autopilot on, hold the altitude, and let's hold our heading. Sweet. And I can control the heading from here. So we want to go to Kerry, which is roughly, roughly this direction. It sounds great, doesn't it? It sounds really great. It's a great sounding lit machine. Hey, Andy's here. Good to see you, Andy. It's only Andy. Uh, I didn't do CTP yesterday, but I watched I watched a lot of people doing it. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So our nighttime lighting, shall we check it out? Very, very basic. But it's nice. It's not bad. But quite basic. Just look at that with the moon, look. The state of that, lads. And again, if you do see any visual bugs or issues or whatever, well, they're still working on the aircraft, so I wouldn't be too worried just yet.
Look at that. Hang on now, Murph. You can do a thing with this. Hello there. Ah, sure, would you look at the state? Hang on a second. Now, lads. It's like a weird Piper bat signal. It's mad looking, isn't it? However, thank you very much indeed for the follow. Welcome in. Shooting stars and everything. It's mad looking, isn't it? Nighttime flying, nothing like it. Right, put it back onto live. There we go. There's Ahanish Illumina. See the orange? Remember? Pure orange, lads. There's foins. Okay. So we're heading in the right direction. There is going to be mountains ahead of us. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to kind of go up the ladder there a little bit now and climb. But as we're cruising, it's nice. What about our instruments? Amps are good. Oil temperature and pressure is good. Fuel is good. RPM. Yeah, it's okay. I don't see anything from an EGT monitor, but sure, listen. Keep an eye on the RPM as you do this. That's roughly it there. It's a very pretty little airplane. The BU 131 actually has an idiot autopilot. Is that the young. What's it called? The young man, is it? I think it's called the young man. The 131. That's a great little airplane as well. So, yeah, what do you think of this plane, lads? Isn't it very pretty? Look at the detail and look. Look at the texture work. It's done so well. It is a thing of beauty, this thing, look. Look, even like the freaking cable ties on the oak, look. Stunning. Stunning! So we're heading on out to Kerry, and uh, yeah, we'll have to do something with our altitude here, so. Altitude is 1100 feet. We'll get rid of altitude hold, and we'll just add in a small bit of trim here. and give us a kind of a shallow climb, about 500 feet per minute to do it. Roughly there. And we'll get ourselves up to about 2000 feet. Increase a bit of power while we're doing it. And let's see how it handles, right? Just Flight have the slightly worn textures down to a T. They really have. Yeah. And they know what they're doing. Like, they, they can make beautiful looking stuff. So we're climbing away. That's beautiful. Look at that, lads. And it comes with a load of different liveries, as you would expect as well. Murph, this stream is going to seriously harm my wallet. Sorry, Kazaki. <laughs> do you have the Just Flight PA-28? Uh, I do, Pilot Kid, yes. I have all of Just Flight's aircraft. I really like them. Are they like Velcro thingies here, look? They are, look, there's Velcro. I mean, look at the detail, look. It's just gorgeous. Even the reflections. Look at that. An insane amount of detail. For just a small plane, like, I mean, there's nothing too special about it. And like all the stuff we've removed outside, it lives in here now, look.
Nice. So we're heading to Kerry. Hey, Aviator's here. Good to see you, man. I don't understand how your ground textures look so good. Mine look uh, blurry, says Nico. Um, well, the stream is in 4K, so that's probably helping it, right? Uh, and like when you go from 1080 into 4K in Microsoft Flight Sim, like it, the difference is amazing because you really get to see the ground textures, right? And it's only when you it's only when you jump into 4K you realize it, do you know? Um, because for ages. Gibbo was like, it's got to be 4K, Murph. And I was like, yeah, I'll get right on that. And then I saw his, and I was like, mother of God, look how good that looks. And it looked class. And I was like, right. Uh, and then I had to go off and get a 4K telly. And I'm delighted to report that didn't take long at all. I had his head wrecked. Murph, just buy one. Yeah, but what, what one? And then I got one. And ever since then, unbelievable. Does it have fingerprints on the gauges that say, don't touch? Well, it has fingerprints, all right. Like, hang on, I'll get up close and personal to the glass. Like, do you know what I mean? Look at the textures and look, look. Are you seeing what the thing is doing? Look, it's unbelievable, the detail. And like, they're not using the standard reflection of like, the diamond aircraft. Do you ever see that in some aircraft? It's just like a diamond behind it. It's incredible. You see it better there, look. Look at the detail on that, look. Mother of God. No pitch info. Aerobatic maneuvers. What did that say? Protect your starter. The aircraft is equipped with a high performance Skytech starter. Do not crank the starter for more than 10 seconds. Uh-oh. I could have already broke that. Taco under reads by 100 RPM. Okay. Aerobatic maneuvers are prohibitive. Thanks. I should have read that before I did anything. Continuous light after engine start requires immediate investigation. Okay. Right. We'll kind of hold the owl altitude here. 2600. Perfect. As we... Meander across the Irish countryside. Where are we? We're down by kind of... We're down by Newcastle West, I suppose. We're heading towards Abbey Field. Beautiful. Wendo, good to see you. Such a sentimental aircraft for me. The PA-38 registered to Zulu, or Zulu Kilo uh, Whiskey Alpha Golf was the first plane I ever got a photo with as a little kid. Ah, no way. That's awesome. We're in God's country now, says Irish Gav. Top of the morning to you, dude. Hope you're well. C-130 looks great. Does it have C-130 physics or 767? I would have to say it it, it doesn't fly like anything uh, they've released before. So it's not like a 74 or, you know, the 717, which was just an Airbus. But no, it's it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Harvard, we're on the Southeast Asian server. Uh, and if anyone likes to fly with us, come on and fly with us for the crack, lads. So you might as well, do you know? Also, if you are watching us on the tube of you, well, do be sure to hit that like button. Please, it helps. Because what it does, YouTube will say, oh yeah, it'll recommend the stream to other people and wake them up out of their slumber on a Sunday morning. Because it'll beep their phone. Recommended for you. This agent. Brilliant, right? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So thank you all so very much indeed for pressing the button. It's amazing what a button can do. Look at the cut of this though. The only thing that this doesn't have that the likes of, say, A2A has. A2A, you know there's something wrong because you can hear it and you can see it. Just Flight, you can hear it because their sound is absolutely incredible. The only things that this doesn't have yet that I can see versus what A2A have managed to bake with AccuSim, like the panel shakes on the Comanche, right? The cowling shakes and rattles. Do you know what I mean? This doesn't seem to have that, but the sounds are excellent. They're excellent. Like, even even have a look. Listen to this, right? We'll know the engine is going to get rough, right? Wait for it. Can you hear that already? Oh, 
Oi? It's very good. The sounds are done really, really well. Uh, leave a key to Mike, good to see you. That's my first thing in the morning, telling you. Yeah, you know you're going to have a problem in the Comanche when the door handles start rattling. Yeah, do you know. But the sounds in this are excellent. Excellent. And again, like, it's another very high fidelity airplane that we now have in the sim. Like, it's gorgeous as well. I mean, look at the state of it. It's so nice. Now, there's probably some of you looking like looking at it, you know, getting sick into your cornflakes going, what is he talking about? It's so nice. But it is so nice. That's a beautiful little plane look. Look at it. It's a happy little plane. It's the Oliver of the general aviation airplanes, isn't it? Little Oliver. But the real world aircraft, it was nicknamed the Trauma Hawk. Trauma Hawk, right? But anyway, I keep playing this music, but I like it. Oh, yes. Perf, do you think that all the third party add ons will be compatible with flights in 2024? I would say a very high number will be. Um, but I also reckon, you know, we're going to have to buy the upgraded versions. You know what I mean? Chez, look at the state of this. Alison Johnson, a very good morning to you. Hope you're well. Congratulations for your epic, epic flight yesterday. What a journey. Rumor has it that Gibbo is having a barbecue for everyone. Yeah, that's yours. Good morning. Two-tone Junior's awake. Gibbo's like, would you look at that big shiny thing in the sky? It's coming around to yours for a barbecue. Oh wait, you're coming around to mine. No, 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 we're coming around. Do I have the barbecue? Oh, I do. I've, it's not great though. It's not ready for this season yet, Gibbo. <laughs> I've had a barbecue in Gibbo's house. He made the meanest steak ever. It's amazing. But yes, the weather in Ireland today is beautiful. 17 degrees. <laughs> All right. Tropical.
Isn't it only gorgeous? Airlock is like, Murph, your socials don't show up, Mastodon. Do you see that, Mastodon? I can't get my head around it at all. But yeah, I need to do a thing with that. I need to fix that. Yes, Airlock. Jays, there's an A320. Crikey. Uh, right. Well, I mean, you know. Who is that? It's Agent Jeans. Go handy with the way turbulence there, will you? Oh no, it's not Agent, it's A-Gate Jeans. Uh, you can get sucked into the engine, right? I mean, that looks perfectly normal. Tunesy, that's a great name. Nothing to see here, lads. Right, what are we doing? Oh, we're heading this way. We're nearly at Kerry. Ah, this is fierce exciting. Kerry is over there, look. There's Kazaki. Oh, there's the runway. Oh, you're in County Kerry now, huh? You're in County Kerry now, lads. Oh, be happy heading you now after coming in over the county, huh? Right. We'll fly on this way and uh, well, let's see what we can see. Imagine being snuck up by an A320, right? It's easy. It's a Twitter, but you choose a home server. Like you do with email. Ah. Banda country. Ah, oh, Kerry is the kingdom. Where an inch is a mile and a rose is a beautiful girl. A glass hammer was invented here, as was the sunroof without the roof. A joystick that was sad and a doorbell for the submarine. Ah, what? Come on out of that. Brilliant. Ah, the Kerry man invention. Brilliant. Meanwhile, the entire chat has now facepanned themselves. This is very nice. She's a little beaut of an airplane, isn't it? Conrad, the little bug smasher looks great, doesn't it? It's a beaut! Now, what's the weather situation in Kerry? Psh. Echo India, Kilo Yankee Airport information, Oscar 0735, Zulu weather, wind, calm, visibility 1, 0, 000, sky clear, temperature 8, QH 1031. Okay, the winds are calm. Also, a chocolate fire guard, an inflatable dartboard, and a solar powered torch. Yes, MDA. <laughs> Brilliant. You've been to Kerry. Fantastic. Right? They also invented premium air for your tires. Right? Murph is the only person I know that owns a raincoat in desert camouflage. <laughs> Brilliant. Would be hilarious if the 80s was in a Kerry accent. You need some. Uh, Brilliant. Out of Jesus, kind of misty, wet, wet rain, scuttery, slithery, misty, owl kind of drizzle there now. You'd want to be going handy, coming in for an approach over the runway. There's shape out in the runway, lads. You want to go for your handy. Q and H, couldn't tell you. I don't know how to add letters. They also patented the ashtray for a motorcycle. <laughs> Brilliant. Sure, what else would you be doing on a Sunday morning? Huh? Meanwhile, the Kerry community are going nuts. Right? The Healy Rays now at this stage. That's a disgrace! You take that back! <laughs> right, so we'll do now landing here in Kerry. It's absolutely gorgeous, this. Right, autopilot, good luck to you. And thank you to Just Right for adding in such a handy gadget. Right, let's see what we can do here. So, bring the power back. Oh, look at her speed. We're very fast. What's the difference between this and the Warrior? Ooh. This is a... This is much lighter. If Captain Sim can make a good, or at least half good, airplane in Microsoft Flight Sim, does that mean Leitrim could also exist? No! Absolutely not! Are you mad? Leitrim! Get out of that garden! Right? <laughs> Brilliant. Accent, more cowbell. Oh, Jesus, no. Right, uh, where is the thing? Oh, it's over there, look. Ah, beautiful. So watch your speed. A gate jeans go handy over there now with your big A320. The Gikna. Right, easy does it. Oh, I better put in my mixture. Mixture rich. And the runway is... Uh, it's over there. 
Beautiful countryside, isn't it? The best thing about Leitrim is the sign saying you're now leaving Leitrim. <laughs> There's no squirrels in Leitrim. It's a fact. Also has better visibility than the Warrior. I would agree. There's great visibility in this aircraft. You got a lot of visibility in this thing. Now keep an eye on that speed there, Murph. Has a release date and price been announced? Not yet. Soon is the answer. Very soon. Okay, nameplate tags off. Or name tag plates. Or whatever we call them. Let's just meander our way in here. It says the winds are calm, so we'll... You know what I mean? 90 knots. We'll go for knots of flaps. Would oh, you hear the drag? Beautiful. Better be lovely in VR. Oh, yes, Ali. Yes. You see, the textures are so, so good here. Like, they're amazing textures in this thing. Just, they're stunning. Alright, watch your speed. Easy does it now. Well, Piper are very similar on the inside. Kind of like the Cessnas as well. And like that trend kind of carried on to pretty much every other, uh, every other aircraft. Hey, Burstix, good to see you, man. How are you liking this? It's quite nice, man. It's beautiful. And like, it's a living, breathing airplane. Uh, not out just yet. But like, it's, you know, it's very A2A-esque, if that makes sense. Just Fly have done an amazing thing with this. Like, when they say it's their best general aviation aircraft they've built, in terms of what they've managed to, you know, make it do, 100%. It's one of the best sounding aircraft as well. All right, 70 knots. Ramble on in. Go for a second off to flaps. Man, the drag is unreal. Look at that. Beautiful. I right, don't bin it, whatever you do. Watch your speed. Change the speed of that car. Where is he off to? Off to get the paper, I'd say. It's a living, breathing airplane, unlike the pilot. Airlock, I nearly flew off the runway because of reading your comment. <laughs> hey, Jeb. I'm on the car on the way to Edinburgh Airport. Oh, nice. Oh, James, you're going to stall it, Murph. Easy. Right, here we go now. All together. Way. Runway 08 into Kerry. Did anyone ring ahead so Margaret opens up the tower? Right, there's my touchdown point. Power to idle and let's float it in. Easy, 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 easy. Watch the flare. Easy, easy. Touchdown, 71 feet, we'll take it. Welcome to Kerry. Beautiful. On the brakes. Flaps in. <laughs> you nearly hit us. Meander off here to the left. Another distracted driver, right? Maybe hey, we got some people coming in. Look at that. There's Drew and Zeus. Out of the grass. Oh, yeah, look at that suspension. It really works on the grass, look. Look at that. That's really well done, isn't it? She's just kind of hopping around there. an HG20. Greta is in the tower. Brilliant. 
How dare you, she says, in a proud and happy voice. Well, it's grass, so like, it's not gravel. If it was gravel, it'd be interesting. Like, on, you know, on grass. There's plenty of sounds there, listen. You know what I mean? Versus that of the runway. Sounds very different. It's quite good. The higher grass. Ah, oh, the sounds are good, lads. The sounds are excellent. They really, really are. The sounds are excellent on this aircraft. The first kick now alert I've seen in a while. Yeah! Look at over here beside that nice big Gulf Stream look. Little and large, you know. Bert and Ernie. Hey, Bert. Imagine if it hit it. Could you imagine if it hit it? Oh. Okay. Open the window for the extra sounds, look. Isn't it beautiful? A stunner. An old friend of mine crashed one of these into a ditch on a wet landing. He was fine, but the plane less so. Jesus. He was learning how to fly. Uh-oh. He got it wrong. Oh, God. There's an A320. Oh, medic. The poor old devil is in an absolute hoop. Where's that button I had for medic? Right. Where'd you go? Uh-oh. He's in big trouble. <laughs> it's totally fine. Sometimes a man's got to do what a man does. What a man does. Um, yeah, it's 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 in a hoop. Uh, right, what does this one do? I've all these buttons I haven't pressed them in ages, look. Um, where's this one? Oh, behave. Ah, brilliant. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? He's in a hoop, look. Um, you know. These are small. But the ones out there are far away. Right. Hey, Brett is here. Good to see you, Brett. Welcome aboard, man. Sometimes you see lay people wearing what look like black socks. But if you look closely, you'll see they're very, 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 very dark that. blue. Never buy black socks in a normal shop. Fine, man. They'll shaft you every time. Welcome aboard, my dude. Hope all is well. Yeah, a gay jeans. You have a lovely voice. Very like Celine Dion. Brilliant. Uh, that's a beautiful plane, this, isn't it? Isn't it stunning, lads? It's just gorgeous. So if you were to hop into it now, uh, let me say tablet. And put the chocks, tie downs, and the pedal covers. There she be. So this aircraft is due to release very soon. Very soon. It's a stunning little airplane, isn't it? Uh, I also learned how to use DaVinci Resolve. It's a devil. It's a devil. Uh, I can't fly, but I'm currently committed to Sim Update or Sim Update 15 beta, making some saucy videos. Nice bird sticks. Um, yeah. How am I running 4K to YouTube and 1080 to Twitch when I dual stream? It has to match. Uh, Brett, do you use OBS? Because there's a gadget you can get in OBS. Uh, what was it called? There's, a, there's an additional plug-in you get for OBS. Hang on, let's see if I have it. 
Brent, you're on YouTube, aren't you? Or you're on Discord, aren't you? I gave the gadget to, uh, oh, hang on, Colonel Fork. This is a public service announcement. When flying, pay no attention to public service announcements. <laughs> That's brilliant. I need that in my life. This is a public service announcement. When flying, pay no attention to public service announcements. I love it. I use OBS for YouTube and Slobs for Twitch. Oh no, you can just use OBS. Slobs is terrible. Don't use Slobs. Uh, right, where is this now? You've loads more. I love it. Um, I'll look it up. Now, hang on. I, I sent it on to Shane there a while ago. Uh... Brett, give us an LDM there, will you? We'll get you sorted. Where is this now? Uh, I have a link here, look. Copy that. Bum, 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 bum. Magruga's Copter Institute offers training for careers in hangar management and logbook verification, among many others. We've held people for almost a year now. We can help you, Magrugas. <laughs> what? What is this madness, Colonel Fork? Uh, right, where's Brad? He's on the way in there now, somewhere, so he is. Drop us a DM, Brad. I have that link for you. Basically what it is, it's a plugin that goes into your, um, into your OBS, right? And through the plugin, you say, hey, point it to YouTube at this bitrate. And then using your main OBS, that's your main settings, if that makes sense. So you beam your OBS as normal directly to Twitch, as you've always done. With this little plugin, you can put you can now put in a second stream and it kicks it over to YouTube. Very, very handy. And you've total control over it. And it means you can stop or start it outside of being live or not live. It's really handy. You'll have to read the manual though, but it, it works. And like, if I can make it work, like, right, it's simple, like, do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, get into uh, Discord. When you get into my Discord, start here, click on the shamrock, and that'll open it up. Brett plays. There you are, Brett. Dish. Hi. I just said hi. Uh, oh, Jesus. Now, where is this? There's that link there, Brett. Go over there and have a look at it. And it'll it'll do the job, right? It'll do the hawk. Or it'll do the job. Uh, OBS should be able to do it straight out. It can, but not as well. OBS will want you to have the same quality going both directions. Right? It, 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 messy, messy. Uh, but yes, Templar, welcome in. The trauma hawk. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? It's absolutely stunning. So what do we fancy now, lads? I mean, we've done the tomahawk. We've done a C-130. Oh, huh? we did a C-130. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? That arcade, good to see you. I didn't think Irish people would be up at this time on a Sunday. I'm up since half four. My camera over there fell over. Literally, jink. So I had to fix that, you know. I'm very aware, though, my thumbnail on uh, Twitch is, or, on Gib or on English Murph, my thumbnail on YouTube is of a tomahawk. Any chance you send me a plug-in worth five grand in the... <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. The Skymaster? Skymaster's fun as well. But this... The, the Tomahawk is gorgeous. Look at the cut of it, though. Isn't it something else? It's absolutely gorgeous. That's a big 10 for good money. Beautiful. Spitfire RAF 100 is here. For 38 months, man. Thank you very, very much indeed. Good morning. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Um, but yeah, Brett, try that and see how you get on. You know, and if it breaks anything, uh, it was Gibbo's fault. Gibbo's fault. Uh, I just feel the RV-10. Yeah, the RV-10 is nice. Um, C-130 is a great little yoke, yeah. Little, yeah. We, when we did the C-130, we'd be going to C-130 again to Cork. Or would we fly, like... Will we fly this little Betsy down to Cork either? I don't know what we'll do. What else do I have? That I, oh, the Tornado was out as well. Although we've all seen the Tornado. And the Bronco. That's a great plane. Do you know? This is Kerry Airport. Echo India Kilo Yankee. Uh, you're painted the C-130? Brilliant. Yeah, we need a couple of... Uh, 
Okay, jeans. That's going to end up in tears. Um, okay, we'll go back out to the menu and we'll pick an airplane. How's that, lads? How's that? We'll, we'll come up to some sort of an agreement to figure out what it is we're trying to do. If the sim doesn't crash, that is. Oh, steady. Okay, it's doing a thing. Um, I'm just very aware that I'm using the tomahawk as my thumbnail click on YouTube. So people rambling going, oh, that's a weird looking tomahawk you have, Murphy. It has nine engines. Right. Do you know? And uh, sure, we'll see how we get on here now. Mr. Two-Tone is making a roast today. And for those of you who just joined us, the weather in Ireland is pretty nice. I went for a drive yesterday, a scenic drive, County Galway. And the cursed jays thing popped off. The coil broke on me right. Strut. It's really annoying. Uh, right, where are we? Down in Kerry. Take the Vulcan. These are all deliveries you get with the, uh, with the Tomahawk. Aren't they pretty? We could go into hangar view. Hang on a second. Profile. Hangar view. Why isn't it doing the fancy camera stuff? So these are all the di these are all the different uh much we call it liveries. Aren't they pretty? That's one that's based in Liverpool, actually, this fella. Where is it? That's the one that's based in Liverpool. That's the one we flew. Ah, yeah, there's some really nice liveries there, isn't there? And there's your custom tail one as well. Ah, oh, listen. Give out, like, just... Choice words were invented when that happened. You know what I mean? I was raging. I want a plug-in for me browser that takes Murphy's closed captions, reads it, and puts it into an AI voice. <laughs> Uh, how was I not already on your Discord? I must have disconnected since you always stream before I wake up. Right, do you know what I mean? It's probably because I use the at everyone a lot. At everyone? It's Tuesday. At everyone? It's nine o'clock on Tuesday. And so on, right? All I know about Ireland is that my parents honeymooned in Cork. Nice, nice. Um, the RV8. Well, the RVs, I haven't loaded them in a while. Right, hang on. We'll go in here now into the old hangar and we'll have an outlook, right? Aircraft selection. There's a C-130, isn't it nuts? Uh, right, we'll go up to the top. <laughs> ATRs. Just a kind of Jones for an ATR, lads. Haven't flown that in ages. Hmm. Hmm. We've got the ATR. Uh, what else do we have? Fuga Magister is always nice. The A-300. I flew that last week. That is so nice. It is so nice. You're only on 53 discords. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> 53 discords. Get the chopper. Now. Um, the Bonanza from Carinado. The Beach Model 17. That's not right. Is that a 17 or is that not the Stagger Wing? Uh, oh, wait, maybe it is. Maybe the 17 is it. Hmm. Cork! ATR, perfect for gliding down into Cork. Yeah, I think so. We'll go with the ATR, lads, will we? We'll go with the ATR and we'll pick something else later on. How's that for a plan? Right, we want the 600. Uh, Firefly, it has to be, or we can go Aer Lingus. I do like the Firefly Air livery one. We'll go with Firefly Air. Right, so we're going to start off here in Kerry. Uh, get us in there now, ramp one. And we're going to fly down to... Um, we're going to go to Cork. We'll fly down to Cork. Do I have the 777? Uh, I don't. Stagger Wing is the D17. Ah, right. Right, 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 right. The Drifter. What oh, do you remember the Drifter? Colonel Fork is going to drive a pillow. Nice. Silver Swallows. Yes, damn it. The Silver Swallow aerobatic display team. Brilliant. Stagger Wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't flown that in ages either. It's too late. I'm not going with Firefly Air, our own virtual airline. Uh, I hope this doesn't crash now. Uh, here at Firefly Air, we laugh. Laugh at things, you know. Uh, will you get an ERJ-145? Or will when will we get a 145? Ooh. Well, I have the 175 and the 195. Uh, this could be hilarious now in the ATR. I haven't flown this in ages. Right, Murph. Round control to Major Murph. Log in. Pilot ID, enter. 
Oh, we need to do the Oh, hang on a second. This is going to be all terribly professional. Uh, open that with this and that. And straight away, people are going to be saying, that's the weirdest looking tomahawk you've ever seen in your life. The chap is in an ATR. Yeah, 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 we know that. Uh, not Simbox. Simbrief, Murph. Simbrief. 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 Dish. Dish, dish. Dispatch. Yes, here we are. Do we have a release date? They were saying it's coming out on the 30th. Have I tried the uh, Red Wing Continental or Constellation? I have. Boss man, would you believe it? My voice is uh, on part of that plane. No, I am kidding you not. I did a voiceover myself and two cats. Uh, Kerry to Cork. I'm in an ATR 72. Uh, there we go. This is a short little flight. Jesus, we're going to Buttevant and then down. Yeah, we'll go with that, sure. Why not? Uh, Curdham and the Curdham Mung Golf. Get in there now, you divil, and we'll horse this in, and then we'll import the flight uh, from Simbrief. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So, let me see, let me see, let me see. Import the flight plan. No flight plan loaded. Import. There we go. Brilliant. Uh, set the flight plan. Set the fuel. And we'll set the payload. Is the ATR any good? Uh, it, it has a mind of its own, but usually it's all right, yeah. There's a chopper. Get to the chopper. Right, uh, now, how do we start this thing up? Battery, start with that. Battery coming on. Pumps. Uh, lights. Uh, beacon. No. Nav. Logo. Yes. Seatbelt lights. Emergency lights. Oxygen on. And we want ground power. So let's go in here now for a second. As the screens are warming up. Payload. Set aircraft. Set trim. Aircraft. Ground power unit. Tail prop. Open the door. Beautiful. Look at the state of that ATR though. Isn't it class looking? Right. Continue on. So ground power is on. It should be available. Which it is. And we'll turn it on over here. Uh, right now. We're not getting it on over this side now. Interesting. Uh, I will start up the APU. So we'll go prop brake on. And lock. Wait until it says ready. Uh, Annunciator light. Leave it alone. Uh, let's have a look. Systems are coming alive. Hydraulic pump. Now she's ready. Perfecto. Uh, drop the compass. Uh, we want some lights here as well. That's looking pretty nice. That's where you get your notes or whatever from the ground crew. Uh, oxygen test. We have air. We have air. Okay, one light's coming on. That's all okay. So we want to start up the APU. So we're going to put it into starter A. And we're going to go starter on the right. It says ready. Shouldn't that be on? Let's see what happens here. If I do this correctly, that should not spin at all. Propeller brake should be on. We're doing something right. It seems to be working. Hey, Tamo's here. Good to see you. Colonel Fork, you take care of my dude. Have a great day, man. Pilot Kid says, I have the ATR, but I don't know why the uh, the throttles won't work. Uh, there's a gust lock. So if I try and move the throttles now, see this black and yellow thingy? That's the gust lock. All right, all right. Calm down, Sharon. Uh, now, I need to update some things, lads, because me bot is out of control. Uh, Murph is flying... Uh, what am I flying now? Murph is flying the ATR 72600. And we're going to fly from Kerry to Cork. Echo India Kilo Yankee over to Echo India Charlie Kilo. Right, lads. That's what we're doing. Uh, 
I don't know why the buttons aren't working on this. Flight, import the flight from Simbrave and launch it in. All right, okay. Hydraulics, low pressure, that's all okay. That's all okay. I can get rid of the external power now because we're on our APU. Disconnect the ground power. Down into our FMS, and we're going to say, right, uh, cut them. Well, it's already in there, so we'll put in our departure. We don't have a SID. Uh, runway 26 is what we're going off. Uh, there's no SID. Execute. Park. Put in our arrival. Uh, just. What are we going for? Runway 34. It's an RNAV for 34, is it? No, ILS 34. And it's going to be on the Cutter 1 Golf. The Cutter 1 Golf. Cutter 1 Golf. Thank you. Transition. Ah, we'll leave that be. Uh, so it's direct until we get to Cutter. So we'll leave that alone for the moment. Uh, now let me see. RMS on this page. And Squawk will put in something makey uppy. 6461. Speaking of which, do we have any ATC on Vatsim yet, lads? No? Dermot, updating your flight sim. Yeah, join us, lads. Southeast Asian server. Anyone can join. Doesn't matter how good or how bad you think your flying is. Ramble in for the crack. Uh, now, what are we doing? Uh, that's okay. Radio's okay. We're on standby mode. Now, will this work? That's VHF. So if I go one two two decimal zero. Echo India Kilo Yankee Airport Information Romeo zero eight zero five Sulu weather wind <laughs> calm visibility one zero thousand sky clear temperature niner Q and H one zero three two advice on initial contact you have information Romeo Echo India Kilo Yankee Airport Information Romeo zero eight zero five Sulu weather wind Calm, visibility 1, 0, 000, sky clear. Temperature 9, QNH 1032. Advice on initial contact, you have information. Romeo. Echo India Kilo Yankee Airport Information. Romeo 0805 Sulu weather wind. Calm, visibility 10,000, sky clear. Temperature 9, QNH 103. Echo India Kilo Yankee Airport Information. Sierra 0805 Sulu weather wind. Calm, visibility 10,000, sky clear. Temperature 9, QNH 103. Echo India Kilo Yankee Airport. Mechanical madness! Thank you very much indeed. How are you, man? Jesus, mechanical. That's 26 months. Uh, I can never get this thing out of hotel mode. It's snowing here, says airlock. What? You serious? Uh, what frequency am I looking for? Because we could get our route information. Hang on. Uh, let me see now. Options. Audio. So, 12202 will play the current aircraft position, right? And then 12205. So, we want... One, one, pause. One, one, two, two, decimal zero, five. Abbreviated briefing from your current position to Echo India, Kilo, Yankee, to Echo India, Brilliant. Charlie, Kilo, no segments active for your route of flight, no airmats active for your route of flight. Current weather conditions, Echo India, Kilo, Yankee, wind, three, 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 at eight, visibility, one, zero, thousand, sky clear. Temperature one five Q and H it's one fine, zero two eight for the destination at your estimated arrival time. Wind three four two at three. Visibility one zero thousand. Sky condition few clouds at two thousand one hundred. Temperature nine Q and H one zero three one for your alternate at your estimated arrival time. Wind zero zero two. You can change that voice if you like. Visibility one zero thousand. Sky condition few clouds at four thousand seven thousand. Scattered temperature one zero. Q and H one zero three two one wind two of three and road area travel at one two thousand feet wind zero three seven at nine at nine thousand feet wind zero four nine at one zero for the destination at one two thousand feet wind zero. I Stop talking. Uh, right now, let me see. That's okay. We're gonna go into our performance, and we're looking for runway transition altitude. I don't know what it is in Ireland. Let's go with six. Uh, will these come in automatically? Speeds for a non-limiting runway. Well, hang on. We can put our performance in here, look. Uh, set flight plan, set fuel, set payload. Performance. In you go. Yeah, go with that. 
in you go performance uh let me see here so yes so there are v speeds uh 104 104 and 110 104 104 and 110 that's just very small but sure listen uh cruise altitude is good wait copy these across press and hold to do it and go fuel on board why did you have it on german sounds like an engineering professor uh trim needs to be 1.1 1 .1. Go down, you devil. 1.1. 1.1. No, that's 1.2, you muffet. 1.1. There we go. Right, what's wrong with this now? Probes, hydraulics, all this jazz. Right, okay, time to go flying, lads. Uh, aircraft. Uh, close the door. Remove the chocks. Get rid of the tail prop. Uh, that's looking good. What's going on up here? All is looking good. Lights, beacon is on. Uh, logo's already on. Wing lights, turn them on for the crack. Seatbelt signs are on. Our bleeds are off for the minute, but that should be okay. Uh, it is okay. Right, friends. It is time to do a bit of a something. Final cockpit, air bleeds, electrical DC. I think we're okay. Uh, what do we want over here now? Source normal. That's all okay. Anti-skid. That's okay. That's okay. Boost. We're going to be going for a takeoff. And what else do we need here? I think that's all okay. Dust lock or gust lock, leave that as it is. Everything here is looking good. And uh, it's going to be a push back. Yes. ATR, it's been a while, right? So, can I get a push? Well, we don't need a push. We can just do what we're We can turn. We'll turn the devil there, look. Although it's a little bit tight. She'll turn there. Okay, continue on. So we're going to start up the left engine next. Uh, go ahead and start. Uh, everything should be clear. Start her up. Listen to the sounds. Looking nice. We're going to add in some fuel. We're looking good. Now for the far side, we need to disengage the brake. Brake off. That hasn't come on yet. Why haven't you come on yet? Hydraulics on the ground should do it. Uh-oh. Why aren't you coming off? It says brake prop is ready, right? How do we disengage this stupid thing again? Uh, brake off. Turn on these. Pumps are on. But I need to disengage the prop brake. How do we do that again, lads? There's a way for it. Sorry, 120, it happens to you too. No, no, there's a way around it. Prop and feather. But that should disengage. Stupid thing, there's a way to do this. How do you do it? Uh, ooh, ooh. How do we disengage this? Hydraulics power, right? Uh, let's see here now. You broke it. Does it happen when you're taxiing or when... No, it should, you should be able to disengage it now. Hang on, we'll figure this one out together, lads. Don't worry. 
so the, it still thinks the brake is on. You need to get rid of the brake though. How do you unlock the devil? Yeah, I tried the, the hydraulic pump. But it doesn't seem to be disengaging. That prop brake should disengage once I turn on this little fella. I need to get the prop brake engaged. I shut her down here for a minute. It says ready, but I don't want to use it. Right, we'll do a start. I shouldn't do that though. Right, now she's spinning. How strange is that, right? Like, you shouldn't have to shut down the engine while you're doing that, you know what I mean? Anyway, we're alive. Slacking Camel, that's a great name. Up you devil. It says the prop brake is ready, but we don't want that. Now, let me see. Uh, this generator should be coming online. What's the... What's the story here now? We'll go down through our flows. All is looking good there. Taxi light on. All looking good. All looking good. Very strange, isn't it? Okay, taxi light is on. Uh, Squawk is... Standby. Uh, how do we change that now? On. Pretty good. Parker brake off. Get some flaps into the equation. Bit of power. And start our turn. Beautiful. man. Hey, V-Skycheck is here. Good to see you. Mr. Tommy said you broke it. <laughs> Mr. Tommy, how are you? It's like the band are back together, lads. Did I get Aerosoft's Oslo Airport? Uh, I did not. Not yet. It's on my list, though, uh, uh, Eagle Airways. It's on my list of things to get, you know. Enjoy the sickness. Indeed. Starting a new job tomorrow at Highlands Racetrack. No way, man. That's awesome news. Okay, this is actually giving us a departure off 2.6. What about the new look, Lamurf? Yeah, I have that good. I showed that on Wednesday. Brilliant. There's cats and dogs fighting with each other and everything. Now, our ghost lock is still on. Easy does it now as you taxi. Now we should be out on a on a two eight, but we'll go uh, we'll go zero six for the crack. Flight director's on. Nav mode arm. Caution the wake turbulence from the A320. Lights on. All 
right. So we're pretty much going straight on from here. So we can nearly hang on. We'll go into here, into my flight plan. We're going to go direct. It's going to be direct, Curl. Okay, power coming in. Let's go flying. You're up the yard. Take our power set. Speed alive. There's 40. There's 60. There's 80. V1. Rotate. Yep, see Daisy. Pause, we're ready to climb. Gear up. Easy, does it? Be nav armed. Autopilot on. Laps in one. Flaps fully in. Climb. Speed 150 is good. Flaps are in. And we're all right. So level off here. Get the speed up. And then we'll go climbing again. Yeah, it's beautiful weather, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Look at this. Stunning. And an A320 behind us. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, speed 170. And we're tipping out. We're heading towards Buttevant. That's our first waypoint. And then it's down into... Uh, down into the approach at the Curragun Gulf. So I think we're doing alright, lads. And now, a bit of diddly idle, I think, here would go well, wouldn't it? What does this one do? Yes! Good morning from Ireland! Jesus, that's very R-rated now for this time of the morning. Jesus! It's just very pretty, isn't it? Favourite plane at the moment. Jesus. Um, ooh. What have I been flying a lot of? I've been really liking the A320 Phoenix. Really enjoying that. 
Uh, Gibbo made us a new livery for the 737-800 and I've fallen in love with that again. I've fallen in love with technology. But like, it's really, really good. Do you know what I mean? Um, the, the Tomahawk is beautiful from Just Flight. Um, what else have I been flying? Do you know what I've been... Right? I've been spending an awful lot of time in the MD-11 over an X-Plane. That thing is beautiful, man. Uh, and I'm looking forward to when we get the MD in... Uh, in Microsoft Flight Sim. It's just not there yet. Know what I mean? Daz Higgy is here. Good to see you. <laughs> That's how DC-3s are born, right? Right, we're doing well, lads. Uh, we're in climb profile. Speed 170. And, uh, well. It's doing its thing, right? It's doing its thing. The ATR is the closest to a tube I'll fly. Even then, I still prefer low and slow. Oh, yeah. Uh, is the Tomahawk out? Not yet. Not yet. Another few days. So we're on our way down to Cork. And, uh, well, we're doing a mad arrival. We're going from Kerry over to Budavind, then down. That's grand. We're cruising here nicely. Oh, the 146. Yeah, brilliant. Will the Challenger 650 ever come? Doubt it. But I think, you know, flight effects are working on a 350, I think. That should be pretty nice. Uh, we should be on standard here. Uh, where's the gadget for standard barrel? It's over here, isn't it? Standard. Okay. I can't get over this. This is live time and weather in Ireland. The weather is stunning. You shouldn't be indoors. You need to go outside, you know. Brett says, I need to go off and cook some dinner. Enjoy your flight. Brett, you take care, my dude. Have a great evening. I hope you're making something nice. Did you bring some for the rest of us? There's always one, isn't there? Like, you're doing well and all, you know, but like... Just keep the distance, man. Captain Sickback is in the uh, Honda jet. Out. Uh, but yeah. Cook up some chicken and veggies. Ooh. For all. Yeah, we'll take it. Right, we're at our cruise altitude 110, or flight level 110. And we're well on the way to Corum. How are we going now in the world of. I doubt very much Adam's awake, is he? Sim aware. Jesus, they were busy yesterday. Did someone say 3,200 people flew on VATSIM? What? Right? Yeah, there's no ATC coverage yet in Ireland because they're probably jaded from yesterday. And I say Adam is probably head first in a sleep bag at 10 o'clock in the morning. He doesn't get up early on a Sunday, God love him. He should, though. You know, he should. So listen, it'll be grand, lads. It'll be grand. 210 knots are absolutely booting it. Look at this. Right, the ATR is going to bring us over to Cork, and shall we go from Cork over to somewhere else? Right, we're in the cruise. Engine profile. Cruise. What's that speed now? We don't want to go too fast. Do I like P3D? Some of the old planes are on it, like the B-17. Oh, yeah. I haven't touched P3D in ages. I checked at one point, there were still... 10 Concords going across. I'd love to be able to fly the Concorde. It's too... Oh, it, uh, brain requirement now is just on a scale of like... Do you know what I mean? Oh, we're going in on the ILS. We're going to need the ILS here. Uh, ILS for runway 34 in Cork. ILS for 3-4 in Cork, please. Frequency is 109.15. Radio nav or RMS. VHF. Nav. So we're saying, what is it? 109.109.15. There she be. 
And uh, right now, oh yeah, it's three four we're going for. So we're about to hit Karum, and then it's going to be a right turn, and it's uh, onto our arrival. It's amazing that Concord on P3D. Yeah, like the the, the Colomata Concord isn't too bad on X Plane. DC Designs Concord on Microsoft Flight Sim is a bit on the. Well, it needs a bit of work, doesn't it? This is kind of nice, though. Wombat, what time of day is it with you? It must be like 2 o'clock in the morning. I never started the chrono. Ah, Murphy. Ah, for God's sake. I'm still waiting for the P-47. Don't say it. I'm still waiting. I won't say it. <laughs> oh. The most... The most... Com well, the most confusing or complex airplane on Microsoft Flight Sim. What is it? Is it the Mad Dog? Is that like the most weirdest and maddest devil we have in terms of systems and getting it right? I haven't known the Mad Dog in ages. Concord, yeah, but the, the Concord or the Concord does stuff you don't want it to do, even though you're doing it right. Do you know what I mean? Like it's bugged. The MD80, it's not bugged. It, like it works really well. We're over Mallow here in County Cork. Mallow. There's Mallow. We're getting stars. No, we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, like the fuel systems in it is mad. Oh, 200. Jesus, one bad. <laughs> I can imagine now, you know, well done, you're up all night playing that game. Yes, dear. <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> oh, God. You'll have chores to do tomorrow, I tell you. Oh. Uh, Flying the Dash 7. Goblin Zeus, I actually saw there was an update for the Dash 7. I might take that for the spin next. I have not flown the Dash 7 since it was released. And it's not an airplane I'm mad about because the sounds are crap. But I might give it a bash. I think I'll take the Dash 7 out for it. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do a Dash in the Dash 7. We'll go Cork to Waterford. And then we'll probably have to go back into the tomahawk because the thumbnail on YouTube is a tomahawk and people, you know, it's not clickbait. I, like, we were in the tomahawk, you know. Templar says, my messages is being checked by mods. Oh, the mods are nuts. Well, it's not the mods, it's probably the bots. I, there's many bots and they're nuts. Uh, within 80 says, still waiting, hoping for Majestic. Ooh, yes. Yes. MDA says, that'd be great. Haven't seen the Dash 7. I haven't really seen it. Yeah, okay, we'll jump in. We'll jump into the dash seven uh, after this. We'll be landed here in about eh, twenty minutes. What time of day is it now in Ireland? It's ten o'clock in the morning. We'll ramble on for another little bit. Jesus, we're live nearly four hours. I'd have been on earlier, only my camera fell. It didn't hit the ground, mind you. It just fell. You know, P forty seven on DCS. The P-47 on X-Plane, that was really good. It was made by Flying Iron. Really, really good. Wait, right, we're on approach. What altitude do we need to be at according to the star? Down to 6,000. <whistles> Down you get you, big Jesse. VNAV. Why, aren't, why isn't VNAV taking me on the path? There we go. Start dropping us there now, Chief. Whenever you're ready. You need to be at 6,000 on Insal. Is the Comanche worth every penny of 50 euros? Yes. Yes, it is. It's amazing. Chinook coming for DCS. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? The Chinook in Microsoft Flight Sim is nice. Don't give me starters, Sim. We need a gentle landing. Oh no, we're getting starters. 
Oh no, we have the stutter bug. Ali had this yesterday. It's an absolute friggin' disaster. I don't believe it. We actually have the stutter bug. Look, there's no way to beat this. I wish there was a way you could, like, not have this stupid bug. And I've no idea what causes it. Look at that. So, like, even though I'm moving, the thing just stops. That's so bad. And it gets worse. It's Flow Pro. Really? But if I turn off Flow, will this stop? My Flow is off. Starters are still there, dude. It ain't flow. It ain't flow. My ground texture suddenly went blurry yesterday. Any ideas? Ooh. Uh, delete the rolling cash. There's got to be something you can do. It's not fully off. It's just not displaying. Oh, you, you guys reckon it's flow? Hang on. If it's flow, well then, these are geniuses. Come on, gadget work. My flow is off, off. We still have stutters. No, we still have stutters, lads. It's so annoying. Like, I don't know what causes it. Hey, devil dude, good to see you. Like, I try everything. Multiplayer, cycle it. I do everything, like. Yeah, that's just like That's just enough to ruin your day uh, And it gets worse The only way to fix it is turn it off As in turn off the sim You know what I mean? Hello Flo Yeah, no idea what it is. I was in flight today and it did it. Accidentally closed the wheel and stutters were gone. Sim effects or is it only player aircraft? Um, I, I, I can't associate it to flow because like it, this has happened with flow on or off. You know what I mean? It's just you get this stuttering bug and like once it's in, it's in. VNAV isn't working on the on this plane either, look. That's a pity. Oh, Jesus, it's run flyable here. Like, it's just completely shagged. Would multiplayer be the issue? I think so, but, like, I've tried this with multiplayer off, and, um, hasn't been... Uh, just didn't have that issue before, you know what I mean? Um, so, but multiplayer turned off. We were using join effects, or join FS, and still wasn't working, you know? Don't think it's flow. It's it's the same. Like, the, it's like that coherent GT bug that we saw ages ago. Because, like... Hardware, everything is working perfectly. Like, there's no overload or there's nothing. You know what I mean? It just stops working. It freezes. In fact, I don't even want to entertain waiting for this thing. It's instantly killed us in because it's shagged. They really got to fix that. But, like, you know, the police say, yeah, it's under investigation, and then they, they won't fix it. <laughs> you know? Have you tried threatening it? Yes. If I threaten it, it might do. Could be any number of things. It's like a memory leak, but it's it's not like. It's not showing up on any sort of a uh, any sort of an output, if that makes sense. Hemingbird is here. Good to see you. I found a round bit of black plastic with a hole in the middle about nine inches in diameter. I threw it three hundred meters and thought that must be a record. Good morning. Ah, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, I'm using JoinFS more these days. It's a lot better than multiplayer. It can be. It can be. I thought it was a memory leak as well. Didn't see anything. It happened to Ali yesterday. Like, the only solution is stop the sim and restart it. So, like, it has to be... 
it could be a timing issue because it's trying to download uh data and then it it's it's like it's stuck in a loop because that it's it stops and then it moves and then it stops and then it moves so it's as if it's trying to look for something that isn't there more than likely there's a data point not closed off correctly which let's face it the sim is absolutely plagued with that or uh it's like it's a memory leak but it is what it is it's just a, it's 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 just annoying when it happens cuz you're shagged there's no way you can fly like it's gone gone do you know what i mean uh, and that's kind of annoying but anyway, we'll load back in. We're going to take the dash 7 out for a, a bit of a dash. Yes, yes. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Um, does anything like SimConnect and FSU IPC work with Flow Pro? SimConnect. Started messing with different settings using Flow. When I accidentally closed it, the starters went away. That's kind of mad, Shift. That's mad. I've never, never been able to... Uh, um, what's the word? Replicate that? By having flow on or off like i've done multiplayer i've done data i've changed graphics i've cleared the cache uh what else like i've, I've done anything you think of i even stood on one foot all right do you know so um yeah it is what it is we'll do a restart listen we all would have known i would have buttered that landing just now like it would have been just amazing the best landing i'd say you've ever seen that's not entirely true but we get the idea um uh, I saw someone having an issue with GF or GFX because of FSUIPC and SimConnect had a problem. Yeah. Uh, do you know if the coherent thread is maxed out when it stutters? Uh, Lima, Kilo, Mike. No, again, like even if you, if you run, none of Microsoft's diagnostics are, are able to see it. So if, even if you run the dev mode and you turn on the FPS counter, it's not showing you any problems. It just stops. You know what I mean? You see a spike and it stops. So, yeah, very strange. Everything seemed normal. Yeah. Eh, what do you do? What can you do? It's one of those things. Well, well, it's grand. Just as well we weren't doing cross the pond and it happened. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? And it doesn't seem to happen to everyone. Uh, and I've also tried a bit of vanilla sim as well. Uh, the stats profile in dev mode can show RAM usage, but not CPU usage. Yeah, well, it gives you a percentage, you know. Shift, has that solved it, though? Like, is it 100% flow? Because, like, we turned off flow just now and it didn't work. Oh, you don't know? Don't know. Uh, I didn't do uh, CTV yesterday, no. No. Lots of people did, though. Dave had a great flight. Jamie was on for freaking ages. He like 12 hours? Kenko did it as well. I never had any issues like that there, but I'm not using any UI changing add-ons. Yeah. Captain Sickbag has gone out to get some real sunshine. Nice. What's going on with the options here now? Right, we're okay. Okay, we're going to take the dash. The dash 7. Why is it not coming up? Don't tell me I don't have the dash 7 enabled. Ah, uh, don't say that to me. De Havilland, DHC, is it? There you go. All right, liveries, what do we have? Not a whole lot, to be honest. Um, Maersk, Maersk always looks nice. Continental, TVS, now what the PMS 50 for the crack. There you go. Uh, GNS 50, GTN 750. Go with Maersk, will we? Maersk, out of Cork. We're going to fly over to Waterford. How's that for the plan? Dish, dish, and dish. Right, let's see what happens here. Went up to Belfast yesterday, Murph with my wife, ended up buying a new iPhone for her for her anniversary. Oh, nice. Happy anniversary. A new iPhone. That was a costly day out. Yes, dear. We're just going to go for a nice drive today. A thousand and something euros later. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Yeah, it was a great day yesterday. Weather was beautiful yesterday. Stunning. Great day to be out. I've been driving yesterday and my Skoda broke. Stupid thing. The friggin' right spring coil broke. It dropped out. What a day. What a day. Right. Here we go, flight simulator. Into the dash. What did I get? Right. Why did it start with the engines running? Whoa now. 
Oh, no. So here's the Dash 7. And it looks pretty nice. SWS did some of the initial work on this thing. Um, but let's see what we can see, right? So what do we have in here? Can't open windows. Uh, there's a pilot there. I don't think we can disappear her. No. Uh, right, onto the overhead. And we have some stuff up here. We've panel lighting. Let's get this ready to go. Uh, what else do we have now? Uh, position lights, they're all okay. DC control, generators, bus ties, external power. We'll get the batteries on. It says the batteries are on. External power. There we go. FPS fell brutally. Two to three FPS are cork. Yeah, it could be that. Cowrath, good to see you. Happy Sunday. Uh, collision lights on. Position lights on. The strobe's off. Engine ignition. External power. Bus tie open. Battery is on. DC generators. Go ahead and turn them on. Uh, pedo, leave them alone. Master switch. That's prop ice. Leave that alone. Auxiliary pumps on. Four engines. We have four engines. Fuel transfer. Don't need to do. Engine. We'll be starting them in a moment. Uh, AC. If that doesn't put the Lord scare and terror into you, I don't know what will. Jesus, lads. Why is that making such a noise? <laughs> Everyone's awake now. Morning. It's only us here. Right. Jesus. Did you hear the sound of that? That's the sound you hear when you're told to, like, do chores and stuff around the house, lads, isn't it? Come on now, be honest. It is, Morph, yeah, but also you're terribly brave. Hello there. Clean your house. Clean your room. What is that noise? Do you know? Uh, Fred, welcome in. That's your alarm clock. That was mortifying. It was mortifying. Terrifying. You know, Jesus. Right, moving on. Uh, no smoking. Sounds are crap. Anyway, let's move on. Right, what do we have here? Uh, right. Where's my GTA? Oh, there it is. Right, we're going to Waterford. Uh, condition levers, that's fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Right, okay. Um, get some lights on. And do the same over on Nora's side. Is there one over there? There is. There is a passenger cabin, um, and you can open and close the back door. That's about it. Nice engines. There's the door. But it, it's basic, isn't it? The thing is basic. There's tarnished it. Look at that. Now, how are we going to start this? Because there's no APU. You can do the same crack with this thing with the brake or engine brake, I think. I think. I can't really remember. Right, we're going to go with engine number three. And uh, well, let's see what happens. Ignition is going to be set to manual. And uh, let's see what happens. What are we starting? Four or three? Three. So engine three coming live. There's an external power button, yeah. There goes that mad looter in the other yoke. Alright, number three coming on. Uh, generators already have them on. Engine four. Shower up. Gives a bit of a pushback here as well, PJ. Whenever you're ready there now, Beavis. You're moving up the ladder. You're a wing commander from today. Way out of that, will you? Wing commander. Do you remember wing commander? Was that a game or was it a TV show? I can't remember. 
Right, let's have a look here. I have buttons, but they're not really working. Okay. So there's four. Number one. Number one. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Brian, good to see you. Here's our push. Sounds aren't great. Like, the sounds are not great on this. We have spinach. Make sure your bar is reset. Flight controls are good. <laughs> As you do. As you do. Right, we'll go for a start now on number two. They look good. Normal flow engaged. Engaged jeans. Lee McKeela Mike, down that aircraft quickly. I say you should down the aircraft. Uh, right, back up here to our electricals. Uh, let's see here now. Gens are on. External power, good luck to you. Bus tie. Well, I don't know why that can't be opened, but anyway. Uh, generators over here. Looking good. They're all on. They're on. Engine bleeds. Stick them on. Uh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Anti ice don't need. Pedos we want. Why don't I have any electrical power? here with the old setup but anyway engine ignition uh igniter's off starter's off auxiliary pumps off oh no we need them on fuel pumps what are you doing leave them on for your flight uh right i think we're good flaps one notch uh, altitude. Come up here a small bit. Flight directors. Taxi lights are on. Off the brakes. And let's... Let's start moving. There's a big tornado, look. I'm trying to keep control of this airplane, but I'm not doing a great job. Sounds aren't great, though.
that's what you call an absolute Muppet. But sure, listen, the world is full of Muppets. Uh, right, here we go now. Heading mode, nav. Back horse, V nav. We shall see. Guess that's lined up here. Tarnish is going to sort it now in a tornado. Brilliant. Okay. Are we ready? Power coming in. It's that it sounds like, you know what I mean? 80 knots. 100. 105. Oopsie daisy. Easy. Positive rate of climb. You're up. Uh, Pro David, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Get some flaps in as well. Yeah, dumping her on. A good sound package is half the aircraft. Oh yeah. This really needs um this really needs better sounds. Like a hundred percent. That's a pretty like they're a nice airplane, do you know what I mean? MC, good to see you, man. Uh you can dude, yeah. Of course, of course. Back after a three hour sleep. Sun Jammer, welcome back. Right, head now over Cork. We'll head out by um, Hall Bowling and Cove and all that kind of stuff. MDA, I hope this is kind of telling you where the crack is like with this plane. Like, it's not great. It's just not great. Uh, Spice Bazaar, welcome in. That's what ruined the Twin Otter from Aerosoft too. Well, the Twin Otter has better sounds than this thing, I think. I think the sounds in this yoke are friggin' horrendous. Right, let's see can it do something kind of half easy. Uh, we'll go direct to Waterford. Echo India Whiskey Fox. K4 Gardy. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Activate. Autopilot. Nav mode. And where's the auto where's the autopilot master switch? Uh autopilot, yes. Where's the autopilot master switch? Give it a second, give it a second. Jesus, where is the autopilot button? Or nav, yaw dampener. Normal. Autopilot system. It says autopilot is on. Off, on. Okay. I just have to wait for a bit. What is this? It's the uh, Dash 7. I don't think I'll be running out to buy it now. No, it's not great. It's not great. Change the GPS and the GTN. Oh, look at that. We're on VLOC. There you go. Thank you. No, it's not liking that either. So do, we need to go heading for this and then tell it where it is. Would that be right? And then arm this. Very strange. Okay, so we are on an intercept. So we now go nav. It should capture it. So it says capture it, so let's see what it does from here. Should be grand. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Spice Bazaar is in a glass case of emotion, so he is. Right, so we're on our way out towards Waterford. Like, it's a nice looking airplane. The Dash 7 is a beautiful looking plane. 
But they just didn't do a great job here. That's all, um, that's Hull Bowling out there, look. Spike Island. That's Cove. It's a beautiful part of Ireland. Beautiful. There's always one, isn't there? Right, we're doing okay. Speed is alright. Uh, yeah, everyone's alright, I think. But just as far as, like, as far as airliners go, or, you know, even the in-betweeny ones, it's not great. It's only all right. The sounds are really bad, I think. What part of Ireland isn't gorgeous? Um, ooh. Yeah, true, true. It's it's a lovely country, but the weather's nice. It's stunning. The whole place is stunning when the weather's nice. Only when the weather's nice, though. You know what I mean? So this is a relatively short hop over to Waterford, and uh, from Waterford then we might jump back into the Tomahawk. Three and a half thousand feet. Yeah, you wouldn't be mad on this thing at all, sure you wouldn't. Did the wipers work? Do the wipers work? That's supposed to be lighting, is it? Yeah, like a lot of stuff doesn't kind of work. Interesting. We spent two weeks there in 2017, half in Dublin, the other half in Belfast. Nice. You can control the autopilot easier with the GTN. Yeah. But like, I can bypass this and just, you know, use flow for the autopilot. You know what I mean? But in terms of a plane to fly, like, I mean, there's no... You don't get any real sense of anything out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't recommend... Like, I don't fly the dash. This is why I don't fly it. Like, there's just nothing special about it at all. And, like, the other pilot's aircraft that we have, the uh, the Boeing Clipper, well, like, at least that's a Boeing Clipper. Do you know what I mean? Like, at least there's a bit of history or whatever to it. This thing just doesn't really do anything. And, like, it gets updates and all that, you know what I mean? Right. You're going down into the book, fella. How do we do this now again? No. No. Yes. How do we do this again now? The way to do this again. This used to work? What was that number? 70 something? We'll find it. We'll find it. Hey, another game in. Good to see you, man. There's a way to do it. I forgot how to do it. Where has he gone, the devil? Seven oh nine one one. Little, 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 because that's usually how this works. Because that just gets annoying. Anyway. 
Um, but yeah, Nora Gaming, good to see you, man. What's good? Yeah, it's, you always get one. I don't mind, like, but like, do you know, give it a late break. Do you know what I mean? I was going to say, ah, yeah, it worked flawlessly. It didn't. <laughs> it used to work flawlessly. Where's the tunage? Where is the tunage? Great question. Uh, I keep playing that one. I'll play... Oh, hang on a second. This kind of works, man. Paparazzi, very good morning to you, my guy. Hope all is well. Uh, is that Murphy and Merck's plane? It is! It absolutely is. What's the difference between plan and FLT? Where do you see it? So there are some things you can do. So we're on our way to Waterford. We're here over Dungarvan at the moment. That'd be Dungarvan. Pretty. It's tarnished. Look at that Tonka look. Stunning. There's always one. There's always a Muppet. Uh, so, cruising just over 200 knots, 4,000 feet. It's a real kind of a meh plane, isn't it? Pure meh. Pure meh. But, um, yeah, at least, at least, well, you know. Do you know? Um, but yeah, paparazzi, hope you're well. Half four, you couldn't sleep. Jesus. Good tunage. Yeah, it wasn't bad, lads. The tunage be kicking. 25 to 11. Hello there. Um, Corvus Sanimus, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in, dude. Good to see you. I'm saving flight plan is asking me what one to choose. Oh, sorry. Right. So a dot PLN will load up on the likes of... Um, a dot PLN will load up in the likes of, say, your Navigraph and in the sim as well. A dot FLT... It it, it, a dot FLT doesn't include... You can't import one of them into Navigraph. I think that was that was the idea. One of them you can, one of them you can't. It's just a different format of, a, of, sail, of saving a flight plan. Do you get me? That's all it does. I, put, I think a dot PLN is better because you can, like, import that into your FMSs and into... Um, into Navigraph as well. We still in live time, we are. There you go. Jeez, it's stunning out there, isn't it? Diamond Twin. Nice, Dermot. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to jump back into the Tomahawk. We'll just do another little quick flight. And then uh, I'm going to go outside because it's uh, work on me tan. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I can't go driving, though. <laughs> I can't go driving today. I'll pretend I'm driving. I might play trucks in. I might bring my whole computer setup outside into the garden for the crack. You know. Where's that now? Hmm. 
Knock Mahan. This looks nice. Nice beach. Last time I visited Waterford was by train. Nice. Yeah. Ah, you get folks like that. But before, by using the by using the console by using this gadget, you were able to block aircraft. I don't know why it's not doing it. It used to work. It used to be brilliant. Uh, no driving to take the donkey for a spin. So, yeah, we'll take the donkey out. Just lined up uh, my guns and CTD. I don't believe you, Tarnish. I don't believe you. All right, we'll do a visual approach here into Waterford. It's pretty much... Where are we? Oh, it's just there. Right, we'll go manual mode. Autopilot off. Power back. And we'll start dipping in for an L descent here. Easy does it. Oh, the sounds are just... Ah, oh, the rubbish! How could they get it so wrong? Like, you know what I mean? This thing stalls at around 100 knots. Gotcha, skid. Let's see what it can do. So there's the old dunes. And then it's a turn into the left. Drop the gear. Even the landing gear sound. It's just not great, is it? Really should have been better. The altitude is coming down, speed is coming down. Second notch of flaps. There's the airport over there. There is a payware Waterford in development. I can't find the autopilot button. Oh no, you found it. Bottom central of the trim selection. Bottom section of the trim. Interesting. Oh Jesus, we nearly went in. We nearly got wet there, lads. Two green lights in the middle. Oh look, I see it now. Gotcha. Thanks, lads. I continue our turn in. This thing does not like... Uh, I'm at full power here, look. That's not right. We're at full power and it's barely holding 100 knots. Jeez. That's full power, look. So basically, you can't fly this with the flaps down. Okay, let's ramble in. There's no sound from the engine, like it's just, it's on or it's like off. It's so weird, like, there's no clouds. It's so hello odd. Da. Hey, Jing, hello there. Happy Sunday, man. How are you? All right. Turn and final. The sounds are so, so bad on this thing. Jesus. I didn't think that I like I genuinely didn't think they were this bad. You know what I mean? Are they on or off? They're on. Right. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Not much to do. Right, auto feather is armed. We're coming in sideways, but sure listen, it'll be grand. We'll tidy it up here now. Easy now. What a dick. Go away, you big muppet. <laughs> Sounds like the engines from the movie Airplane. Captain, how soon can you land? Really? Brilliant. 
They absolutely do. All right, here's a hundred knot speed. Right in approach. Easy. That was the touchdown sound. Here's beta. It pretty much stops us straight away. Oh, the sounds are terrible on this thing. Oh. Yeah, what can you do? At least we know not to go near the Dash 7. If you were thinking about getting it, don't get it. It's shocking. It's really bad, isn't it? Come on, get up the road. Up the road. Why are the spoilers still out? So strange. But you already own it? Right, that'll do us. <laughs> it's terrible. So pilot dash uh, seven, just now. No, not in a million years. Absolutely not. Go back to bed. It's drunk. Just flight our way. Or are they up to? Wait, just flight. What are they up to? That wasn't just flight. That was pilots. Uh, but yeah, we're, speaking of just flight, we're going to jump back into the Tomahawk because that is super. And uh, we'll do a quick jaunt, as I said, out of Waterford. Uh, let me see. Where can we go to? Not terribly far. Maybe Kilkenny. There's, a, there's an airstrip up in Kilkenny we can go into. So we'll have a look at that, right? So what are you? You're a PA-38. Uh, there we go. And we'll change the livery on this one now. We'll go with... Uh, that one looks kind of nice. Go with this one, right? Something different, lad. Something different. Now, yeah, let's see. To Waterford, and we'll start off on ramp one. I will load it up and we'll see what happens. I've already broken this plane trying to fly it. I've already it's already crashed. Ended up in an absolute hoop. But um, yeah, let's see what happens here, right? Now let's see. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Right, so hopefully it loads up. We've no issues, and then we could do a little bit of a flight. It's a beautiful little, uh, beautiful little plane, this. I don't think it would do terribly well in adverse weather at all. Like a gust of wind, this thing is like, it'll really affect it, you know what I mean? Right. Give it a second. There we go. Good stuff. I can't, state restored, I can't change the GTN. I need to, I need to reinstall it. But again, don't worry about it. It is a bug. Just flight are aware of it. And um, yeah, they're going to be. Uh, oh, they're going to. Uh, oh, I can't move that because the battery's off. They're going to. Uh, they're planning to release this soon. Hey, Robbie is here. Good to see you, Robbie. Welcome in, man. Uh, right. So let me see. Battery on. And we'll just remove the stuff here. Uh, chocks, tie downs, and peter cover. Uh, all should be well here in the realm. Let me see. Reset the barrel. And fuel tanks on. Makes you rich. Open throttle. Fuel pump. Sounds are amazing. Anti collision light can come on. Bit of primer. Nice. And uh, we'll go for start. So we'll go right, left, both. Windows open. Clear prop. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Alternator on. Uh, let me see. Nav lights on. What else do we need? SK Sun is here. Good to see you, man. How are you? 
Pom 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 pom, bottle alarm. Bear with us now, lads, bear with us. Like, do you know what I mean? Wow, look how good this guy is. Isn't he brilliant? Oh, wow. Just amazing. Like, just a level of gobshite. Great, you muppet. <laughs> right, so we're saying Kilkenny, isn't it? Uh, let me see. Direct to. Now, what's the Ikeo I'm looking for? Echo India Kilo Kilo. Echo India Kilo Kilo. Kilkenny. Yeah, we'll go for that. 30 miles away. That's looking good. That's looking good. Uh landing light. We don't have a um we don't have a taxi light in this aircraft. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, bit of power. There we go. And let's ramble out towards the active. Isn't this a stunning little plane? So, uh, we've no release date of it. Well, it'll be soon. That's what just what you're saying, you know? Sounds of this thing are class. Yeah. So what we could do, we'll go into our gadget look. Um, for those who know, join a fest. I belong to join a fest there, lads. Plan B is always a great plan. Throw me a freaking bone here, man. Like, get on the network. There we go. Right, so we're on, uh, we're on Join the Fest there if you want to fly along. Dennis I, Jim, yes. There's always one, isn't there? But should listen, it's their loss. Okay, coming on to the active. Fuel pump for takeoff. Not your flaps. Easy does it now. Line ourselves up. Beautiful livery on this, isn't it? Look at that. What a stunning little plane look. It is so nice. Okay, power coming in. Take a power set. Speed live. Down the runway we go. There's 40 knots. 50. 55, oopsie daisy. And off we go. It's a bit breezier here than it was up the road, although we're down by the coast. Easy. There's a bit of turbulence here as well. Okay, start turning around to the left. Beautiful. Whoosh! That was awesome looking. Who was that? Tarnish, are you actually in an F-15 or are you in a Tomcat? Or in a Tornado? Dakey's here. Good to see you, man. Happy Sunday. All right, easy plane. Whoa, easy now. F-15? Looks awesome, dude. All right. That's beautiful. Is 
The sounds are so good on this little plane. Okay, speed coming up to 100 knots. And again, we can use the tablet here for, um, with an autopilot. So, autopilot on. Let's go nav mode. Lock it in. What's our altitude at? 1,000 feet? Uh, we'd probably be okay. So, we're going to hold our altitude. Lean out the mixture just a little bit. Fuel pump off. And we continue on. Just watch your speed. 110 knots. There's a drop. The wind is starting to hit us. Ah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. There's a Mad F-15 over there, look. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm really liking this paint scheme. Isn't that stunning, lads? Look at the state of that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Welcome in, my dude. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome in, Raiders. We're here checking out Just Flight's upcoming Tomahawk. It's a Piper PA38. And I uh, hope you guys are all keeping very, very well. Happy Sunday. Hope you had a great stream, man. Jordan in the house, good to see it. Storm and Norman, welcome in. Many thanks for the follow. Amplify Oz, hope you had a great stream, my dude. Media, you're very welcome aboard, man. How are you? Is this happy Sunday, Murph? Just saw you were live and thought I'd throw you on in the background. I'm very loud to be on in the background, but thank you very much. Love your content. Guys, if you haven't already, do check out G Lock Media's channel, Man Alive. His setup is the best setup when it comes to flight simulation, but he also does a ton of hardware reviews, so do be sure to check out his channel. Yeah, it sounds like Black Velvet, doesn't it, Farid? It does! This is more like blue... No, it can't be blue suede or black velvet. It's more like pink... Velcro.
It's so pretty. Right, what are we doing now? How are we for altitude? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Let's see what happens. Can't beat the Sunday Blues, indeed. j -Lock says, thanks for the shout-out. Not at all. Uh, you live in Australia, so hearing the Irish accent reminds me of home. Well, very good evening to you, and uh, thanks so much for tuning in. So, yeah, it's the upcoming uh, Piper PA-38 Tomahawk from... Uh-oh. We're not following our autopilot. That could have got really messy. Uh, will it turn us now? Uh, ooh, don't panic. Let's go heading mode. Right, and let's see, can we turn the devil? Yes. Be mindful of the ground. It's a devil. Hey, test pilot, good to see you. Uh, they've no release date yet, but they said soon, very soon. So, you know the Cracker Just Flight, they don't kind of beat around the bush. They don't take an awful lot of time. There's a couple of very small bugs with it, but the good news is they're aware of them. But the sounds of this aircraft are absolutely incredible. They're beautiful, man. Yeah, I would say so, test pilot. Days, I would say, do you know? But like, it's such a simple little airplane. And a lot of people would have started off their flying careers, you know, training on one of these. So yeah, it's really, really nice. So our altitude is just about right. Do you see the wind farm off there? I drove up that road once when they were building it. And I'm, yeah, well, I got stuck. There was snow on the little hill and I got stuck in the snow. That was a funny story. Um, a funny situation. I had to get my mate to drive from Dublin to collect me. He was very impressed. Yes, very impressed. But yeah. So in terms of the graphics, I saw one or two questions coming up. So see the way we have the, the color of the trees? This is all powered by Rex AccuSeason. So it changes like the colors of uh, of the trees and gives it kind of seasonal changes. When it works well, it works really well, you know? So we're going to do a landing up at Kilkenny and uh, then I have to call it a day. We're nearly, uh, we're nearly five hours streaming on a Sunday. God almighty. So uh, we're just going to ramble in here. We're not, not far, like 13 miles. I think this is a grass strip. I don't think we've been to Kilkenny in the sim in about three or four years. Crazy. Crazy. But yeah, the aircraft handles so well. It flies really, really nicely. And you have a ton of options here with the, uh, with the EFB. Plus you have the normal array of just flight stuff. I mean, you can put in your flight plans. Uh, your charts are there with Navigraph. Checklists, settings, notes, you can do all sorts of stuff. Right, we can write things like, you know, hi, and, and all that sort of diviling. And of course, then you have the aircraft as well. And as I said, the aircraft, it's alive, man. I mean, damage, wear and tear, it's all modeled on the aircraft. It's done really, really well. Really, really well. So let's get our bearings. We'll have Kilkenny City coming up soon, and then the airport will be off to the left of Kilkenny City. I think. If memory serves me. Any plans for the rest of the day? I have to do some stuff. Uh, we have our ATC course continuing tomorrow. I have a bit of work to do on that. And, um... I'll just be feeling sorry for myself because my car is broken. Yes, a bit is. And, like, then I started looking at cars. You know, will I get a new car? But Ireland is shagged, like, they're so expensive. I'd have to put 10 grand with my car just to get the same year with less mileage. It's And the mileage I do, I couldn't justify buying a new car. You know? I broke the spring. Well, I didn't break the spring. The road broke the spring. Now, I'm hoping it's just the coil. I think the shock is okay. It's just... I was driving along and I heard this rattle. I was like, oh, that can't be good. And then I go under it to look in and I still couldn't see it. So I stopped in, uh, in Portumna, drove into a garage. I was like, stick it up on the L gadget there. And he did. He stuck it up on the L gadget. And as the car went to raise it, ding, plank, bang. That doesn't sound good at all. So the very bottom part of the spring snapped. The rest of the spring is still in there, which is grand. So I could at least drive the car home very slowly. Very. If you were driving behind me yesterday, a beautiful looking Skoda, I'm sorry. I'm the reason why you're late. But, uh, yeah. There's a tarnished Mossman look. Beautiful. 
Look at this. Look at the bums we're picking up. That's that's, that's uh, Active Sky. It sounds right for a Skoda. It's done. It's driven to the moon in mileage. It's done 387,000 kilometers. The moon is 384,000 kilometers. Depending on where you start from. I'm just saying, you know. So you'd have a crack in your spring as well I if you drove it. that far, you know what I mean? Uh, Cass's Zoo Lagu, you're very welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for the follow. Just saying, try a Toyota. Oh, Jesus, no. Toyota? We had Toyotas back in the day. We had, like, we had a Toyota Carina 2. I mean, that thing was bulletproof. Then we had a Carina E. And then the events, but ah, they're... I don't know. I don't want to say they're boring because, like, a Skoda isn't much better. Like, do you know? How do we rate Active Sky? G Lock, I don't know, man. It's. It has features I really like, right? It has historical weather. The UI is straight out of P3D. But, hey, look, I mean, it works, right? It works. Um, It's a little bit buggy. They did release a patch yesterday. Its depiction of the weather is good. Its wind data is better than what we have in Microsoft. Microsoft does a better job at the visuals when it comes to like the cloud depiction and all that sort of jazz. Microsoft is better, but you can run this in what's called passive or active sky preset. If you put it in passive mode, it means active sky will just look after the wind and Microsoft will do the clouds. And that's a very good balance to have. I didn't like it the other day. It, it kept crashing and there was issues and you know, it is buggy. It's quite clunky. But it's it's getting there. Test pilot, go back to the start of this stream. I flew the C-130. Uh, we actually flew it from Belfast down to Shannon. And it'll surprise you. Jim says, my car is in tomorrow. Headlights packed in in your Scirocco. They're a great car, though. They're a fast car. Hilux. I like a Hilux. Toto here has a 10-year warranty on it. Really? Razor Cab, good to see you. That happened to me, Mark, a few weeks ago. The metal spring go brittle after time. I don't think it was very expensive. Uh, teach me for watching Formula One. Right? It's at the start of the stream, Test Pilot. It's it's very good. It's expensive, but it's very good. But yeah, the, the spring, as far as I know, a spring for... A front spring is only like 50 or 60 bucks. It's not much. Like, But you got to take off the wheel. you got to take off the strut. Put on a new spring. Put back down the strut. And like, if the strut isn't leaking, you should be okay. You know what I mean? Look at this. We're getting turbulence here. Look. That's Active Sky giving us that turbulence. To, you know, very good. So here be Kilkenny City. There be an F-15 look. Very nice. So if that's Kilkenny City, that means our little airport is over here somewhere. Be over on the left. I can't see. It's over there somewhere. But we'll keep rambling up this way. Uh, I'm debating myself whether buying a Camry or a Lexus. Great cars. Ooh. Hey, Chris is in the house from Sagart. Hello from Tipperary. I know Sagart well. I used to go to school in my cool. Uh, good to see you, Chris. Uh, Aileron says, takes me about two hours for a complete movie to change the spring. Oh, uh, for a complete novice. It takes about two hours for a complete novice. Ailerons, I'm allergic like to manual labor anytime i try to do manual labor something terrible happens right so can someone else do it i live by that rule can someone else do it um so yes like it's amazing right all you have to do is pay someone give someone money and they'll do it for you brilliant what that that's an agreement right but yeah, I probably could. If I had to, I'd fix it myself. Or, you know, I'd be like, uh, Da, listen, I'm going to work in the car there. You wouldn't uh, you wouldn't have a few minutes just to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> right? And then about 20 minutes later, I'll come out with a fresh cup of coffee and say, Chase, you're doing a great job. Right? That's what happens. Airport is on me left. Where are you? Where is it, actually? Hello? Is it... Me, I'm looking. Oh, there it is there, look. Yes. This should be sporty. Eagle, you're one of them as well, Aaron? Yes. Can someone else do it? Okay, autopilot, be gone. 
Dish, dish, dish. What was that bang? Someone here bang? Uh, right, disappear this tablet for the moment. Tarnishes out over Kilkenny City. And uh, let's get some Toby Eye on here for the crack. Go! Looking nice. There's the airfield. That area looks terribly close, but sure, we'll ramble in. Put on a fuel pump for landing. There's the quarry. Need a spring clamp if you're going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Aileron sent me on the link for a spring clamp. To be honest, outside of fixing a spring, I would have almost no use for that clamp. But at least I could say I own a spring clamp. It's a bit like having the radiator key. The bleed key. Huh? I have the radiator bleed key. All right, watch the speed coming in. Bring your power back. Oh, not to flaps. You can really hear the wind hitting off it. It's super good. Super, super good. There goes Tarnish. Okay, starting another left turn. Speed is coming down nicely. There's 80 knots in the turn. Straighten up. Flaps full. Man, the aircraft reacts so well to this. It feels so natural. Turn to final. Watch your speed. Watch your height. Grass runways for the win. Alright, easy, does it? Go around, tarnish. It's not safe down there. <laughs> Hello there. It's brilliant. Hey, Roxius, thank you very much indeed for the follow. Welcome in. What did it? Jay's a tarnish. Easy does it now. 55. Hold the nose. Be careful of the L slope up the grass. Power to idle. And we'll just hang glide it in. Easy. Touchdown. And welcome to Kilkenny. Beautiful. What a stunning little airplane. I can't wait for you to fly this. It's so nice. It is so nice. Funny ATR 72. Oh yeah, I forgot to update it. I had a sim crash. The sounds listen. Isn't it so good? And it's louder on that side because the the, the, uh, the exhaust is there. Kingsman, good to see you, man. You're very welcome aboard. Like a glove. Right, fuel pump off. Uh, there's no avionic switch. Peter heat off. Landing light off. Kill the mixture. Nice. Anti-collision light off. Alternator and battery. Look at that F-15. Jesus, the sounds of it. Isn't it very nice? Isn't this beautiful, lads, isn't it? Getting ready for a pre-wedding photo shoot. And I despise my picture being taken. Just picture the photographer with their clothes off. It always works. Right? Great pictures. Great pictures. Yeah. Don't know. Uh, what's the wear and tear like? It's amazing. Right? So let's go in and have a look. We'll go off and do a walk around. So aileron. Condition says good. Flap. Condition says good. Fuel quantity. We can refill it. Don't spin this, by the way. Yeah, you will die. You'll die. Um, check this out. So the chocks... We'll put the chocks back in. 
chocks. Oh, wait now, can we put the chocks in this way? We can. So chocks are now in place. Uh, left tire check. Condition 98%, tire pressure is good. And you're like, you can bust a tire. Is it a new menu or is it just on this plane? Just on this plane only, just on this plane. Uh, but look, you can check all the stuff. So the stall warning check. And if you have the battery on inside the aircraft, you'll hear the stall warning horn go off. So there's the battery on, right? Very good, isn't it? Not only that, if you go to the propeller, I have the, I've had the mags off. So the mags are off and the battery's off, right? So if I go to the propeller and I want to test it, look. Right? Beautiful. However, if I turn on the battery and turn on the mags, now leave the mags, leave the mags off and put the battery on, right? And put the fuel off. Just so there's no worry I'm going to start the thing, right? And we'll put one mag on. But if we go back to this view and I want to mess with the prop, look what happens. It's trying to turn, look. Now there's no fuel there so it can't start. Isn't that nuts? Isn't that nuts? Like that's, that's what, like, that'll kill you. So that's grand, the mags are off, but like, you put a mag on, and like, there's no fuel or that, but like, look at the exhaust kicking. Look how dangerous that is. Isn't that mad? They've simulated this really, really well. And like, if I wanted to be completely mad now, if I put uh, fuel into this, right? Let us stop. If I put the fuel on. And I have a mag on. Look what. This will probably start. Oh no, I have the mixture off. Now give it a second. I have the mixture off. Put the mixture in full. I am at. This just starts the plane. Like, this is how. Like, they've modeled it. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just incredible that they've modelled all this in. So we continue on with the walk around. And like, you can get like, random failures and wear and tear, you can accelerate the wear and tear. Like, it's done so well, lads. It's done really, really well. I remember learning that in a plane, always keep the keys on the glare shield to avoid that from happening. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's it happens. You know what I mean? Not only that, you'll see people testing the prop and the thing, whew, off it goes. Uh, I didn't test this in VR, the walk around. I don't see why it can't work, but I'm not entirely sure. Because the tablet is coming with you, I imagine, like, in a VR scenario, you'd have this sort of crack. So I imagine, yeah, it would work. I imagine it would work, you know? But it's done very, very well. And uh, as I said, it's a stunning little airplane. It's as basic as basic can be, but like, it's just stunning. The sounds, the sounds are just incredible. Right, so Tarnish is there, but like, just to listen to the sounds, right? So turn that off for a minute and just listen. Right? Have a listen. The sounds are incredible. That ticking sound you hear, that's the clock. Right? Then the flap handle, listen to this thing, you'll actually hear the spring.
Isn't that incredible? Uh, Roxius knows, so it has state saving. It'll remember exactly what you're doing. State saving enabled. So it'll remember exactly what you're doing. The sounds are incredible. And then, like, you know, the control surfaces. It's just incredible, this thing. The sounds are really done uh, very well. Do you hear that little tapping noise? It's like four little dots. Do you know what that is? Can you hear them four little dots? Do you know what they are, lads? They're the strobes. It's the strobe light. How cool is that? So the primer? Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Circuit breakers. What else do we have? Like, it's just incredible. So let me see. The chocks. It's just incredible, lads. Now, there's something not right here because I can't move um, controls. I can't move the rudder pedals, right? So we need to inspect something now. I wonder did I break something? Jesus, that was loud. Right, I can't move the rudder. Alright, now it's okay. Elevator. Okay. Like, it's just class, isn't it? So, it's on the way from Just Flight. Uh, they've no release date yet, but very soon. Very soon, right? It does. It sounds really, really good, right? Might be the nose wheel on the grass. In actual fact, you know what it is? The rudder can't move because the nose wheel is on the grass. You're correct and right. I thought it was an issue. It's not. You can't physically move it because it's connected to the nose wheel. So watch this. Let's just make sure our hypothesis is correct, right? Close that. Open that. Lock the window. Lock the doors. Fuel open. Tank open. Uh, and we'll go for a start, right? Say clear prop. And let's see what happens. So there's a good start, right? Alternate run. Get that battery recharged. And if we start taxiing forward now, right? Park and brake off. Start taxiing. I still know there's nothing happening with the pedals. But now see the way they're moving? I've become unstuck. That's fully modelled. If the aircraft is static, you can't move the divil look. I can't turn the rudder. 
But like, once you release it and there's a bit of forward movement, there you go. And like, look at the suspension move, like, it's this is class. And then the sounds inside. So depending on the terrain you're going over, right? So, like, the sound of terrain, it changes, uh, you know, with what the aircraft has gone over. It's incredible, isn't it? And, like, for instance, right, if you wanted the extra challenge, what you could do, you could say, right, uh, let me say, park it. Hello there. Kill the fuel, and we can give the aircraft a random condition, right? Uh, Elysium, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. So, if you have a listen, we say, right, Random condition. The nose fuel is contaminated, so all our fuel is contaminated, right? So it's telling us there's issues. So let's go off and do a walk around. So it's telling us the fuel is contaminated. So we're going to do a... Where is it now? Fuel strain, right? Check this out. So the water quantity, 9%. Drain the fuel. It goes down to 4%. Drain it again, 9%, uh, 0%. So you're actually draining the water out of the fuel. Isn't it brilliant? If you're rolling my feet, I guarantee a custom sound. Dreadmed is brilliant. How are you, mate? Shoestring Media, yeah. Does it work in VR? I think so, did. Um, but yeah, look, isn't it really good? And like, we can put in other issues here as well, right? You can have these random things. So if we go to uh, random condition. Maintenance. Condition 82%. 78%. Give us something really bad. And then, like, you can increase the uh, the wear rate as well. Overhaul the aircraft. Right, give us random condition. Left fuel tank, right. Yeah, okay, that's just the fuel. I wonder will they give us worse. 90%, 85, 82... fast right so if we wanted to break the thing which you can absolutely break right uh close the door right stand by the starter let's hold the starter Hold the starter. See that red warning light? Look at that. Avionics just turned off. Look at that. You get this red light on here as a warning. If we wanted to get rid of some of the uh, circuit breakers. Can we do? Hello there. Please, good to see you. So we'll set full flaps. And let's see if we break the thing flying, right? 
So we'll roll here for a moment. So we're on full flaps, right? I'm, I want to be rough with it, right? That was fairly lively now. Right, get up to speed here. And this is all about being, you know, rough with it, right? You, sir, are a mechanical's nightmare, right? Try to burst the tires. Probably won't on the grass, but we'll see, right? On the nose wheel. Now, let's get our speed up. We'll deploy the flaps and let's see what happens, right? Look at all the warnings. Can you see all the warnings? Right tyre, low pressure. Right uh, strut, poor condition. No strut, poor condition. Like, we're causing damage to this thing. So, let's see what we can do here, right? So, 70 knots. Throw the nose down. Put it into a dive. Flaps full. We had to have damaged the flaps. Propeller is shagged. The aircraft feels so much more heavy and just not responsive. Like, we have so many issues with this, right? I have a low voltage warning. Like, I'm actually shagging the electrics. They're gone. Like, they're just... Forget it, right? Let's go up here a little bit. We're right on stall speed. Oh, Jesus. Get out of spin. Get out of spin. Get out of spin. I'm not going to recover this in time. Ah! Yeah, okay. I've crashed, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, all the work of Just Flight to give it to me to do this. I've ruined it. But, uh, well, what's broken, look? So, the propeller's gone. Uh, the stall warning is shagged. The right tire's gone. Uh, the left tire's gone. The flap is gone. <laughs> the whole thing is gone. There's a list of problems. The whole thing is shagged. Right? Right. Can I, I'd hardly be able to start it. And start it. Okay, but well what's actually wrong? Look. Tire conditions. Now, they may not have the visual stuff turned on yet, but like, you get the idea. If I can taxi this. So the flaps are still good. Ailerons? I've no ailerons. Look. I'm moving the aileron. I've an elevator. Ailerons are gone. I've shagged the ailerons. They don't move, look. The yoke is moving. The yoke won't even move left or right. So the ailerons are kaput. Try an inverted flight to see the oil decrease. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I've no ailerons, but we will see. Who needs ailerons? Airspeed indicator is not working. Oh dear. Holy mother of Jesus. I have no way to steer the aircraft. <laughs> oh no. Easy. I have no ailerons. They're shagged. Oh dear. We're in a terrible mess. <laughs> no. Stall! Stall! 
So I imagine other things will follow. I imagine, right? Or I hope. Um, as I said, it's it's pre-release, so who knows what else they're going to add into it. But the whole point of this is, lads, there's consequence for not being able to fly the thing right. It, there's consequence, and I absolutely love that. And if that's not your bag, I mean, look, you can turn all of this stuff off, right? So the condition, like, it's, it's shagged, right? But we can overhaul the aircraft, get everything fixed. We're now 100%. And how we know we're 100%, well, move the oak. Controls are now working, right? No squirrels were harmed in the testing of this plane, right? Um, but yeah, isn't it pretty cool? So we go cold and dark. Because I have stay saving on. The only thing I'm having an issue with, I can't unselect this GPS unit. That's a bug. But it could be needing an update from uh, the GTN. I'm just flight aware of it. So you can go with no GPS, with the uh, 430, 530. You can go with all that stuff. It's absolutely mad, right? Mad, lads. But it's a beautiful plane. And if I go back into here. Uh, oh, no, wait. From the walk around. So if I remove the wheel chocks, right? Uh, where is it now? Go to this one. So if I remove the wheel chocks. So the wheel chock on that side has gone in. Wheel chock on this side has gone in. And if I look there behind me. Should be there. Oh, wait, I didn't select them. You have Muppet. Wheel chalk. Toggle chalk. There you go. I forgot to toggle the chalk. Right, I think we're good now. I think. I hope. Yeah, there's the chalks there behind you. How class is that? It actually puts them in the plane for you, right? <sighs> there's no ATC comms to ask for a repair car. I wish there was. <laughs> I wish there was. It'd be handy, wouldn't it? But yeah, as I said, expect to see this aircraft out soon, lads. Uh, you're going to enjoy flying it. It's beautiful to hand fly. There's consequence if you get it wrong. It's a visually stunning airplane. Like the detail. Just fly have really done a great job that. here. Like, look at the cut of that. Like, it's stunning. It's just stunning. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Many thanks for the follow. Uh, oh, Jesus. Anime kid dubbed. Wait, no, wait. Animate analog. No, I can't pronounce it. I'm, doing, I'm making a butchery of it. But thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're well. Um, so, lads, that's kind of the shorty now on this Sunday morning. Uh, I've been live for the last five hours and 20 minutes. Uh, if you do want to watch back, we started off with the C-130 Hercules from Captain Sim. And uh, that's released. And, well, have a look back. See what you think. Um, then we flew this. Then we flew the Dash 7, which was horrendous. Uh, then we flew this again. Oh, we flew the ATR as well. Frame rates, it's very good. There's, there's no noticeable impact on your FPS flying this airplane. At all. At all. Like, look at the detail on the canopy look. Jesus. Look at the reflections of the glass look. Isn't that just incredible? It's so incredibly good. The visuals on this aircraft, some of the best I've seen in the sim. Visually, it's one of the best... Uh, Textured, modelled. I mean, look at it. There's dirt and grime all over the shop. I love it. I absolutely love this plane. Just Flight have done an incredible job here, lads. They really have. And I've made a balls by crashing and breaking it. But yeah, that's what you expect from me. Do you know? Anyway, uh, thank you all so very much indeed for watching. To everyone on YouTube, guys, thank you for all the likes. It really helps us out. Uh, and for everyone here on Twitch for the support. All the raids. Crazy, crazy stuff. Thank you all so very much indeed. We're back to you tomorrow, 1900 Zulu time. We continue on with our IF4 ATC series, uh, teaching us all how to do a bit of ATC, right? And uh, Wednesday we'll have the news. And on Friday night, we continue on with the flight of the Bremen. We're going to be taking out the Just Flight BAE 146 version 2. And uh, looking forward to that. So, right, I'm away now. Uh, go out into the sunshine for about 11 seconds to say I've been outside and I got the sun. So, uh, until the next time, you take care. We were, well, earlier on, we were all watching the Flying Fabio. And he was checking out the Corsair. It's cool, wasn't it? You learn so much with Fabio. Fabio, you need to fly this thing next. I want to know all about it. We have some notes. But, like, do you know what I mean? We need to it, That's That's now a new thing to say. We're going to Fabio it. And scene. Oh, we've got a gun sight. This is a beta, so I'm not too worried.